Rising Lords, a medieval turn-based strategy game. Uh, it does feel like kind of like a, like a board game. It's just board game elements. Yeah, it ha kind of has that feeling. Um, we're going to take a kingdom and slowly, over time, gathering food and resources, and weapons and armor, build our armies up and trounce into the uh, the next province and, and conquer it and then take over the whole place. Uh, if you remember Lords of the Realm, if you played that one, then you'll see some similarities here for sure. It's by Argon Wood and published by Deck 13 and Whisper Games. Uh, it came out uh, a little over a couple of years ago, which is the last time I played it. And um, now that I do this whole play longer thing, I thought we should put some effort, you know, put some time into this one and see what we can get to. I've played this one a couple times in pre-release and early access release, and both times I've played like 30 minutes and I was done with it. I want to see the rest of the game, so we're going to do that today. Um, see what we can get into. The other thing is, I just noticed I, this came back into my memory because there um, there's a new demo that just came out. Um, I'm not playing the demo, but and now it has a demo. Um, and uh, that was, I think that, that that's what put it in the Steam updates list or whatever. So anyway, we'll expand our realm. We'll see about that. So let's try it out over here. And to go to a single player game. It does have, it says it's um, uh, simultaneous turns multiplayer. So let's see how that is. My name, Sire, is Sire, uh, can I put Sir in there? Sir Nook, they call me. We're gonna do a, um, do we wanna, do we wanna, just a, a scenario? Yeah, just a scenario. All right, all right, I understand. I don't need these tutorials anymore. I've been through this before, but I had to, um, it like, I don't know, it scratched everything or whatever. I don't know. We'll turn them off and we'll figure it out. Uh, let's go add in another player. We want four people in here. So we got me, Sir Nook. I'm going to be the, um, let's be the yellow guy. Yeah. We got blue guy, green guy. Let's go with blue guy, purple guy, green guy. Uh, now, there isn't, like, if you look at the maps here, um, it doesn't actually, you don't get to pick where you start. It just sort of throws you in there somewhere. Um, there's a lot of maps now. I think before when I played, there was, like, four. And you can make custom maps as well. That, there was a, they had a big competition thing going on just a minute ago. People making maps of places. And um, this is the English Channel map. How do you figure Oh, that's water right there. How do you get over there? Hmm. Can you make boats? Interesting. Baltic. Um, this is a four-player, 21 region. We want to do this one? We want to go, uh, yeah, let's try this. We'll figure if I, we'll see if we can figure out boats. It's going to be me, uh, the human. We're going to play against Lord Bert. We're going to put everyone on... Um, let's go with... So this is sort of like how they play. You can put beginner mode. There's a prosperity mode, so they focus on like... Uh, uh, income things. We got nightly mode, which I'm not sure exactly how that one plays out. And then aggressive mode, uh, and then passive. I think we'll we'll uh, we'll do a little bit of both. Uh, we'll have beginner Lord Bert. We'll have Lord Henry, which can be prosperity, and we'll Robert who over here will be nightly, and we'll leave them all on like normal difficulty, no teams, and we'll leave all this stuff kind of as it is. What kind of victory conditions can we do? There's a wealth. Um, Wealth is first player to get a certain amount of gold based on the number of regions. Conquest is the last player standing. Any is both. Sure. Any. Any is good. Random hosts uh, or random starting spot. Yes. Permadeath. Not allowed to save and can only load. Nah, nah, whatever. Okay, we're going to leave it as it is and let's uh, let's play the game. So we're going to get thrown somewhere in here. And hey, Mudcorp, how's it going? And hey, Harley. And hey, Skull. How are you? So, um... For the most most of this game, we spend sort of in the overworld, and but we do occasionally jump into fighting mode, and that's when we zoom in to um, uh, uh, well, fighting mode. So look, I understand. Get out of here. Why don't I tell you? Don't show you again. All right. So um, let's take a look around. So I am way up here in uh, in London. I'm gonna figure my way out down this way somehow. Uh, probably with a port, I suppose. And we've got different regions here. You can see on the yellow region here, we've got a, a zone here. You can kind of see with the, um, the markers. This is a new zone here in Sussex. And so we can go... From what we have right now, we can expand out the rest of the way. We've got green folks down down this way. And we've got purple folks down here in Paris. And blue folks in Van. Whatever that is. So we have England all to ourselves. That's true. 
Um, so the 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 early parts of the game. I'm sorry, I'm getting my buttons right here. Uh, is about just sort of managing peasants. I'm gonna go. It's it's not like a complicated grand strategy game, forex game or whatever. But um, I'll run down the basics for you. So we've got gold, we've got wood, we got stone, we got iron, uh, we got wool. We use wool and iron and stuff to make weapons, which we've got spears, swords, crossbows, and, and bows. We got armor, we got uh, heavy armor, and we've got horses. And so, like, if you want to make, um, if you want to make spearmen, you need armor and spears. If you want to make folks on horses, you need horses and armor and swords. So you gotta kind of make all that stuff with your blacksmith, which I, uh, which I think I have. I think that is what is that? That's my town center, and this is. What are you? This is my inn. Okay. And we've got a lumber uh, shop over there. We've got a harbor over there to send out armies in the water. We've got a farm over here. Uh, at the bottom of the screen, which I'm just in front of, actually in front of nothing, um, we have how much food we've got, how much is getting eaten. we got wool uh, or sheeps. We've got horses, cows, my population. This has all changed since the last time I played the game. Uh, we've got health and happiness and garrison, which is how many people are in my town defending the place. Makes sense? Worker replacement candidates. Yeah, so, so turn-based thing. We've got a certain amount of, of people in town, a certain amount of peasants, based on our population. We've got 1,000 people in town. We can support 2250, which gives us four people. You know, one person for every 250. And those people, every turn, will do a job. So we'll send this guy to the woods, to go and get me some wood. And you can see the wood just went up. This guy we can go and throw into... Um, is that all I have over here? I think it's all I have. So we're going to throw them into... Uh, well, I don't have a place for them to go, actually. So we'll build something for them. Uh, we can put them in here to, to, to assist and do more wood cutting. You can see it's 160 now as opposed to 60. So, you know, do some of that. I think we can help you with a farm as well. Which doesn't do anything right now, but when there's a harvest, I think it'll bring in more food. So that's good. Uh, we can build more things around the town as well. You can see we can we can throw in walls, we can throw in uh, towers. Uh, well, we want to go back to uh, this one over here, like that. We can add in uh, like smiths and churches. We already have an inn, which allows us to have more people. We can put in uh, a, um, a bathhouse, makes people happy and clean. Uh, town guard allows us to add some more spearmen to the garrison. Um, church gives happiness and gives us... 500 people housed in there. The smith allows us to make weapons. Um, but for now, for now, all we're going to do, we got a trader here that pops in every once in a while. We, um, well, I think we mostly just sort of hang out here. Uh, we've got, we are eating grain at the moment. And we can see we're eating 170 grain. Uh, we could tell them to eat cows. So they eat less grain, but they are starting to eat the cows. We're only going to gain 17 cows next turn instead of that. Uh, we can also adjust our rations and how much people are getting taxed. And you can see that's going to affect happiness. You give them more money, they get sad about it. We give them more food, they get more healthy. Whether they're healthy or um, and happy means we have more immigration coming in. And uh, and that's kind of what we want. To an, to an extent, we can only have 220, 220, 250 people in town. If we have more than that, it doesn't. they don't stop coming. They just become beggars, and nobody wants that. So, anyway, we're gonna pass the turn. All I'm saying, all that to say, we're passing the turn. All right. Somebody has stolen my taxes. How dare they? So, every once in a while, you have these little things pop up over here, like like that, for instance. We got a proposal from uh, from Lord Burt. Sure, Lord Burt, you seem friendly. He's way over there, so we don't care about that guy. Uh, there is, um, how do I see it now? It's moved. This one? Now what's that? Uh, over here. My buttons have all moved since the last time I played. Um, so anyway, we are at peace with, with Lord Burt. We are at war with Robert and Henry. We just sort of started that way. Uh, we'll see how that happens in, in a bit. Um, we can uh, trade this way. And we can... What's this one do? Oh, this is raise an army. Right, of course. The most important part of the game. Raise an army. So, um... I think... What we should do... Um... Is get something built. Probably a, um... 
We gotta get our food under control, which will, which, will, which will be under control here as the seasons go by, when there's bees and birds and birds. Um, we'll get more food from our from our grain. We'll keep that number up. We'll try to keep an eye on that. Um, we've got two people on the farms, which we're bringing a bunch. We've got one guy working on the cows. I think we'll just sort of hang out here for a, a couple turns. Is there anything too important at the moment? If we could tell them to go and, say, start making something, like a smith, we could go ahead and set it up. Um... Uh, do we want to worry about food first? This house is 250 people as well. Southwest. This is a trader. Fields are here. This is a trader. What you're asking? It's a hill southwest of the trader. That's just, just, eh? This is just a hill. Whenever you go into combat mode, I think it keeps it in the same map as we, as we go into this. Uh, these guys over here have... What's Winchester have? So they've got some, a, some abandoned structure, which we can, like, clear out to put a new building in there. Um, there's a lumber hut. They have a dock as well. A fishing village. Um, what do I do with mine? I, I don't, Last time I played, I didn't have docks. So I'm curious what we can do with this. I have watchtowers or whatever. Um, I think it's just for harbor can be used to ship out enemies, so we can put armies on water, so we can put our people, I guess, our, our armies into there and, and ship them out. Cool, cool. Yeah, because when you go into fighting mode, it keeps the same terrain graphics. Um, I'm gonna leave him there for now to keep to, to get some wood, uh, some food bread. So we'll pass some turns as uh, as fall has arrived. The harvest should be here at the end of the season, and then we'll be in very good shape. And uh, it's it's a a dad joke time. So this is more of like a, a life tip that I that I do that I like to share with everyone, and that is, um, when I get feeling upset, you know, uh, I I just surround myself. I gather up my uh, my NES, my SNES, like look at my Xbox, my PlayStation, um, my Switch, and I, I I just sort of surround myself with them. They console me. They console me. Con they console me. This might have been a better one. That I, if, maybe if I typed it out, it might have been better. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> there you go. They console, console. You, you get it. You get it. All right. Let's pass another turn, as we just had to sit here for a minute. Um. We can put it in. We can put someone here to, to increase our happiness if we want. Uh, health is going to go way down as soon as we hit winter time because winter time is bad. So there we go. The harvest has come in. We are getting a lot of harvest coming in next turn. So that's great. It's very good. We got lots of wood coming in. We'll use that. We're basically going to use that to sell things. Um, I think as soon as our winter's over, you can see how health is looking right now. What we could do? Oh, what's no tithe? No, no tithe. Tithe. Don't you be holding on to your money. It's my money. Um, we'll leave that at half rations. We could, like, bump it up for a turn just to make it where they're not, like, dying. Just for a turn. And then... And then the harvest comes in. And now it's cold outside. So now we go back to half rations. Uh, we have... Uh, Lord Henry wants peace. Oh, yeah, I knew you'd come to your senses, Lord Henry. All right, let's go build something. Let's go, uh, let's put it up here. We're going to put in a smith. Okay, so it needs to be built. It takes six, uh, um, units of progress. So one guy going in there will be one unit of progress. Uh, looks like we got a, uh, a new peasant has come in. So we're going to pop him in there and he can get to work, working on that. So in six turns, he'll be done. If we put another one in there, it'll be, a two, it'll be in three turns. Um, I think, I, I think I might not need, I'm going to take you off of there. I'm going to help out with that smith. You think I need two people on the farm? Maybe, I, maybe I do. For now, we'll put two on there. We'll leave. We'll let two stay on there because it brings in a lot. That's a lot of food came in. So we'll sit there for now. Um, the rations, however, going back. Yeah, keep those at half. Quarter tithe. Can I half tithe? We'll keep it at quarter. We do need immigration still. You know. I'm thinking maybe we should. Um, even bumped out even, even more. Man, people are stealing my taxes again. Stop stealing all my money. Man. I got 
thieves about? Thieves? Hmm, not a lot of folks around here. I'm trying to decide who we want to go and, and, uh, and, and take first. But we'll, uh, cross that bridge, I suppose, when we get to it. Um. Oh, yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. 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 Um, we'll go one more turn. We should get another present here uh, next turn. Assuming that we have peasants coming in. It used to be you have like people like walking along the roads coming to your town. They must have gotten rid of that for some performance issues. So uh, I'm not opposed to that. That's not a um... no. Sometimes you get spots where you can uh, clear out like um, like brambles or something. You can clear them out and make a new farm spot. I don't see anything around here though. Yeah, somebody's embezzling. Uh, this fellow's here, so let's go ahead and sell him some wood. For one dollar. Here you go, sir. Have some wood. I'm going to sell you a little bit. And then I'm going to go and buy... Um... I'm just going to pick up some wool so we can get some armor made. We got the smith, you know. I'm going to pick up a bit of wool. Oh, I don't want to sell the wool. So sell that. And then we're going to buy from you. I'm gonna buy some wool from you. Give me like um Give me all your wool. That's all I can afford, I think. Yeah. Don't give me all your wool. Give me a good amount of wool. Uh we can't take horses because we need a we need a place to put our horses before we can put horses in. Yeah. Okay. Almost wonder if it'd be cheaper just to buy the armor. Check that just a little bit. song is loud. Alright. Um, I think we're set. How much longer do we have on this? Two of six, so we're not very far. But next time we get another person, we'll put them in there then. I'm going to tell them to stop eating. Well, no, it's fine. we got 400 cows. They can eat the cows. Uh, health also is factored into how the different variety of animals you have. So we've got grain and cows. So if we had grain, cows, and sheep, that's better. It's better than just having grain, for instance. Oh yo yo! That goes the crop harvest, fifty percent the poor harvest. All right, and we got agreement for a trade agreement for uh, who? Me and Henry. Sure, we got four more gold per turn because of that. Thanks, Henry. Thanks, Henry. Been thirty-two from taxes. Uh, where's my my trade minis? It went up by four, so I guess it's that. Um. Not going, and uh, he'll be done in a second. Well, there we go. There's a wagon going out. That's my my trader, I guess. What you gonna do when you hit the when you hit the coast? So we'll find out. <laughs> yeah. So they're ba they're basically neutrals over here. Um, they put up a little fight. Just peasant. They sort of put up a peasant fight. The real armies are gonna come from. The green, purple, and blue folk. The trade between our lands would be beneficial to both, says Lord Bert. I agree, Lord Bert. Lord Bert is wise. Lord Bert's also kind of an idiot. Uh, what do we got here now? Two more turns and we got that smith done. We start making some some armor. And then we can go do some storming. Um, I thought we were going to get every 250. I must. Oh, I think I'm off. Yeah, so we got, we got a few more people to get in here before we get um, another peasant, which I think should be next turn. I'm going to try something. As soon as we're out of this winter, I'm going to try cranking up the rations. Because we have a ton of food now. Let's, let's, let's crank the rations up. Full rations. Normal rations for everyone. That'll bring up the health, brings up the happiness. We could even go down, like, no tithe. I want to see if, well, I, I think we're going we're gonna to bring in a lot of people. Let's try that. Oh, did it turn into a boat? This guy, when he got to the edge, he turned into a boat. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. <clears throat> All right, we got one more turn before someone else comes. Before we get our, um, I think, not a lot to do until we can really get started here. Our smith is done, however, so I'm gonna throw him back in there to get some things made. 
Okay, construction complete. Excellent. Population has grown as well. Um, let's go and get you in there. And I got an extra person over here, which you might put you in the smithy as well. Smithy, I want you to maybe go ahead and make me some... Probably make me some armor. I only got 20. So let's get some armor thrown in there first. That's what he's going to make. He's gonna make. How many does he make a turn? He's making 30 per turn. It's enough for 30 units. We'll see how we make that stuff in seconds. Uh, guy doing nothing. I think I want you to go and we could build something else. What else do we want? Um, a church is always nice. I need more cash and more stone. Church is nice because it gives you a um, like a permanent plus one happiness. And um, dwellings just gives us the space for more people. An inn we've already got. A bathhouse makes people more healthy. Increases the healthy people and the morale of armies stationed here. Um, we could do that. We could do that. We might as well do something, you know? Um, or we could just send them out. Let's just send them out here to work on these woods. There's two here because there's two people in the farms. Two, two in the fields. You can have up to three in each spot. I got two in the in the lumber yard. And I got one down here with the cows. Tending to the cows. And one making them some armor. We don't have wool for that to be really a full-time job, though. Oh, it's 15. Okay, so it's half. Okay. I got 100% extra taxes this season. Ah, oh, the thief confessed. Excellent. Excellent. I thought I saw a trade thing pop up there for a second. What are we doing? We are still at war with old uh, Robert, who's right across the bay. Okay. Well, we'll see about that. Those those are those are beggars, I think, right? This is a beggar. He doesn't work for you and, is, and lowers health and happiness in your region. Try to get rid of him as soon as possible. So they have beggars down here, which means which means they have not enough space. I got 2,500 space and 1,800 people. If it goes above that, we get beggars. I do have an extra person here, though. So I'm going to tell him to um, just work on that. Just bring in some wood. We can use that. It's 60 per guy, right? Yeah. Bring in a bunch of wood. If we get the trader in here, we'll sell the stuff. We'll probably buy some stone, and we'll get something made. That seems like a plan. We are losing cows as we speak. What's this? Uh, an alliance. Let's combine our powers so that no one can stop us. Sincerely, Lord Bert. Bert? Okay. Bert seems trustworthy. He's a beginner, but we'll see how that goes. Do I have a brave Sir Robin? Uh, it's brave Sir Nook is what is what's going to be. Brave, brave Sir Nook. Um, I'm going to stop eating these cows. We have a lot of them. I don't know. It's safe. Um, yeah, we don't need to eat. Well, we got tons of grain. We'll eat the grain for right now. And then... Um, <laughs> let him keep on making stuff. I can switch this field out if I wanted to. Switch it over to, like, sheep or something. But, uh... Hope we find ourselves another field. And thank you, uh, Jeff. Okay, population has increased again. Let's go work on making something. Something useful. Uh, I need money and stone for that. The trader's not here. Uh, let's just get a bathhouse. Get wooden walls around the place, but I'm not really worried about anybody attacking me. I'm all by myself up here. Let's get a bathhouse. And then this guy can go work on it. Uh, red means uh, nothing happening because we're out of wool. So we're going to tell him to work on. Um, I don't know. We'll get some bows. Maybe a little bit, a little bit of everything here. Let's get some bows first. It takes a bunch of wood. We got pl plenty of wood, so we'll make a bunch of bows. We'll get some archers, and then we can stop storm down there. Uh, probably down here first. I think that guy's coming to trade. Looks like. Did he come in on a boat? Uh, we could also march west. So we'll we'll march west eventually. But we'll see about taking this place soon enough. What is that? Jeffrey, thanks for the gift sub. Um, 
let's see. I'm going to raise my tithe back up. We're going to go to half tithe. People are happy. Um, I would like some money. And we don't need to increase the population that much. Soon, but not yet. And thanks for following, Beth kind of sort of. Another person in here. Yeah, let's uh, let's get you working on these bows. Let's make some bows. You know what we could do is we could have like a bow industry here. We could just crank out the wood, crank out the bows, sell the bows whenever we um, feel we need to make some cash. I think. That seems reasonable. Population also means troops. It is fall. A war in a faraway land seems to force people to leave their homes. Plus 250 population and plus one peasant. So we're now over our... Uh, that's not good. A beggar has spawned in London. That region has more population than housing. Construct additional buildings like dwellings in the region or produce pop reduce population by lowering happiness. Create an army. So, uh, hey, uh, Morbug, thanks for the gift sub. And hype train has, has begun. Thanks for the hype train, guys. Um, so we've got... Uh, a beggar who just sort of hangs around and is just a jerk, really. Um, if we get this thing made, I think the bathhouse gives us population. I think that's what it said. So we'll get that made quickly. We're going to lower our health. Hope maybe some people will die off and we'll be okay. Um, I think next turn I'm going to make my army. That'll give us 100, 100 bowmen. I think that, that's probably pretty good. There we go. Thanks. So one more turn. We march in the wintertime, like all good all good marches in the wintertime, through the snow and the sleet. And uh, what is that? Another 350, 250 came in. What am I going to do with all these people? This is not what I had in mind. Uh, who are you? The Blood Brothers of Thurn are here. Can I, oh, I buy you, huh? I don't have 1,500 gold. Okay, so when he becomes our region, we can do that. But we're going to go ahead and raise an army. Uh, raise an, an army of beggars is what we're kind of hoping to raise here. Um, let's go and uh, do that the, this this way. All right, so there is Sir Nook. Now, there is a... Um, there is, a, like, a card-based mechanic in this. And, you know, I had to... So whenever you... Um, when I, like... I hadn't played the game so long, it, it did basically a wipe, like I said before, and uh, all of my stuff was is gone. So, bef like, once you play the game, you get you unlock new things for your for your character to help you, give you boost or whatever. I don't have those anymore. But thanks. Uh, thanks, Jeffrey. Um, but we're going to put in this guy. I was going to give him some cards. We've got 750 experience for him. So we can put in some card-based things, um, which... Um, which we'll you'll see what they come in. Basically, just like little special moves you can you can make in combat. Um, let's see if I remember how these things. Uh, if I remember any of these, blind fire. Yeah, we'll take that one. Set an area on fire with the next shot. That sounds like what we want to do. I don't like the sound of that. Let's buy that one, that one, and that one. And what was that one? Shields up is always good. Yeah. All I'm getting adjacent. Uh, Bridge. A pontoon bridge that shall allow troops to cross narrow gra gaps in the water. Nah. Nah, we'll just do that. Those are fine. Yeah. Oop, oh, wrong button. Why is no on top? Who puts no on top? <laughs> anyway, let's get some archers in here. So we're going to take all of our armor our, our, and our, uh, um, our uh, uh, bows. And we want to... I think it's shift click. We want them all. 135 archers. And uh, what else can I have? I can have like 20 spearmen. I'll have 20 swordsmen. There we go. Tiny little group of them, but it's something. And then we're going to throw, so throw in some peasants. We're going to throw in like... Um, uh, yeah, like 200 peasants. That's a decent sized army. Can I change my, change my face any? Oh, I can. Let me be... Um, Yeah, I want to be the, the beggar. The beggar king. So these are things that, that will gain points as we play the game, which we can add into our hands or whatever. Um, 
Eventually. Eventually. I think, yeah, I can, I'll just, and you get like perks and things. Which is silly that it's not there anymore. Maybe because I played the game before on like on pre or early access. Um, yeah, we'll do that actually. That's actually what, that's actually a better idea. We got 45 archers and 20 crossbowmen. And no, I take that back. I'd rather have more archers. I changed my mind. I just want all bowmen. Give me, give me all them bows. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And you can see this is making people sad. And it's taking my population away. Taking my gold away. Muster that army. Alright, army of 347 has been mustered. Let's go and Colonel Mustard these folks in the south. I can click on him and put them in the right spot. So they go like point to point. So this works kind of like... I mean, it's like a board game. We're going from... Um, uh, you don't just like walk around the path. You can you walk to the border and then you walk to the town. You walk to the border, walk to the town, that kind of thing. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the hype train uh, chat. I appreciate that and thank you very much again, Jeffrey and and Morbug and 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 Jeffrey and Jeff. Oh, I certainly appreciate it. All right, so um, keep making them bows, buddy. Next turn. The winter is here. Time to march. We now support 3,000 troops or 3,000 people in town, so we won't have any more peasants. So that's good. Um, bathhouse is improving our population. What's this all about? The bathhouse has been built. Excellent. Uh, you can't do anything in there, can you? No. Uh, what are you doing in this one? Place them here to increase happiness and gold. How much, how much do you give me? Uh, 10 gold. That ain't worth it. Uh, just, yeah, go, let's go make some bows. We got a ton of food. We're eating a ton of food. But we still have, I think it's, man, it's 400 food, but we'll get another harvest in here before too long. Um, so let's march into Sussex. And, um, show them what it means to be so close to London. How many Jeffs do we have on this Twitch stream? <laughs> Alright, to battle! I claim this region in the name of me! Uh, we're gonna go to battle. There's a small group of them there. Let's battle. We can let the AI do it. We're not doing that, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, I'll take my cards. I'll show what these mean whenever we get in here. These are sort of like... It's not like a card-based thing, but there are cards that we can use if we want in certain situations to... Uh, um, uh, to, to, uh, uh during, during the combat. So the way it works out is we place, then they place, we place, they place, that kind of thing. So we'll put our guy, like, right, uh, there. There goes their guy. We put our archers behind here. And my, my swordsman's gonna go right there. They got a decent amount of folks. And this is my, my general, who's gonna go lead these peasants. Because I'm a good, I'm a, I'm a, a, a general of the people. That's what I am. There's my, my art things. Alright, initiative up top, and they're going to go first. They're going to shoot my peasants. 31 people have died. Morale is important. Right. Uh, once you lose, like, half your army, people get real bummed. So we want that to happen. I really want to see what this... I don't remember what the Fire Arrows card. I've done the other ones, but I don't... The Fire Arrows card sounds exciting. I don't think I can use it on anyone yet, though. But we can take aim. It lowers my initiative, so I'm going to go last, but then I'll do a lot of damage. And I think I want to do that. We'll see if we can get pick off a bunch of their archers down here. Every time you hit, uh, you get to hit back, and vice versa. It's just not quite as strong. The, the retaliation isn't isn't quite as big. Also, those guys are spearmen. I'm I'm a peasant. Um, two to five damage there, or two to four damage there. I I think that we. Um, He's already taking his... Oh, he can't retaliate. Okay. Let's just smack this guy. Three hole damage. Ouch! The peasants are really just there. Just kind of be in the way. Uh, this should do... 10 to, tw 10 to 20 damage. He, I don't think... He, he can't retaliate because he's already done it. He's already gone this turn. 
So let's... I don't know. What, let's smack this guy. Oh, we can come in here and hit him. That's more like it. Oh, we had a card with some sort of, like, he ignored the attack or something. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, yeah, terrain effects are certainly a thing. I think we're going to go and just mow down these archers. We could do 57 damage. We could kill all of the swordsmen. Actually, they might be our, our bigger threat. Planes minus 15 defense. Or these guys. Let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of these guys. Ha! I got them! Nice. Broke them in little bits. Okay. Now you get to go again. Um... So it hits a... This one hits a random enemy anywhere on the map. Sure. Do that one. One damage. Good job, buddy. Good job. I think we're going to go peasant versus peasant, you think? I, th I kind of need the guys to stay here and to kind of keep, the, um, keep them busy with an off-mount archers. We don't want to do that. If we attack them, they're going to whoop us. I wonder if we should come over here to this hill. Archer's going to get whooped. Oh, good. Oh, he's sad. He's very sad. Well, that's going to get you killed. Is there a flanking bonus? I might actually lose this battle. There's a lot more than I thought there was going to be. There's a lot more than I thought there was going to be. We can still win this. See, he's he's excited. Oh, well. <laughs> he's not excited anymore. All right, how does this whole fire thing work? Fields on fire do 10% damage to occupying unit and lower morale by three per round. I mean, that sounds exciting. I want to do that. Can you roast them? Roast these guys. Oh, yeah, there you go. My feet are on fire, he says. That's right. That's right. Be one of the um, ooh, the dark days in in the uh, in the realm, but we'll um, we'll remember it well, you know. We we hope to. <laughs> Some of us won't remember it so well. Uh, that's not gonna do any good. Um, can't hit him. He's gonna hit you for three to five. He's gonna hit you for seventeen to twenty-seven. Uh, why don't... I kind of want to get you away. Nice range defense. Just... Just hop in here. Why don't you? And then why don't you, um... Do that shields up card. Can you do that? No? I didn't mean to discard. Whoops. Um... We've lost this one. We've certainly lost this one. Ooh, my archers. Don't do that to my archers. He's got a dagger. Ouch. Battle doesn't look good. It doesn't, does it? My morale's been affected because we're at half strength. Um, 
I don't remember how to retreat, but we might need to do that. I think we just run to the edge of the map. Let me see. Options. No. <laughs> no not, not that one. Not that one. Um, I, I think I think we um, I think we just we just go down fighting. That's what it sounds like to me. We well, can get on this on this hill. Let's go on this hill and smack this guy. Brave Sir Robin time. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Oh, he's going and breaking my uh, breaking my defenses, breaking my town. How oh, dare he? Oh, and they're dead. Troops are fleeing the battlefield. It happens when the morale hits zero. I understand. Oh, man. Lost against the people. Oh, man. What a way to go. What a way to go. Well, you know, we were just, uh... I just want to show what happens when you get lost. <laughs> Let's go back home. Lick our wounds and go home. No, let's not talk about that battle anymore, okay? Let's just forget all about it. It didn't happen. It didn't ha it never happened. Why don't you go into town? Not there. Rumors are spreading that the Troubadour, Troubadour has joined a rival court. All right. uh, I want you to go into here. And hang out there. Uh, we're still going to put up those bows. We've got uh, 161 of them. We don't have enough armor, though. Um, which we need to get with uh, uh, um, some wool. What battle? Exactly. Exactly. Um, I wish... I wonder if we should go and um, and fight these guys instead. <laughs> what do they have here? What is that? Town guard. See, now that's not what we want. We want to fight a nice, easy town. We should have hired those guys. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. Um, we're just gonna wait whenever the tra whenever the traveler, or the trader comes by here again. We'll make sure we talk to him and have a trade, and um. um We'll buy some sheep. So we're gonna need them. Um. Yeah, I think we're, I think not much we can really do here. We're gonna pop him in there, and you down here with the cows. I'm not sure it makes any difference in the cows. Oh yeah, we make 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 more cows. Okay. For some reason I didn't think the cows needed more than one person. Half of the cows and sheep have perished. Backleg disease. Lots of peasant in London. I understand. I understand. I know. It's pretty sad. Um, it's okay. It, it, it's fine. Let's go and... So I think if you're green, means you're not doing any good. Right? That's that's the... Um, that's the, me the metric there. So let's put this guy in there. Make some more bows, I guess. Until the until the trader comes, there's not much we can really do. Hey, steak, how's it going? There's a Saxon maceman. Three thousand gold he costs. He's expensive. Maybe I need to buy him. I need to buy him. Um, if we want to make an army, I mean. We, we have to have... Make sure... Check real quick. This requires... Oh, it doesn't require armor. I thought that... I think the bowmen need, need armor. Maybe it's the crossbowmen need armor? Yeah. Crossbowmen need armor. Okay. Regular bowmen don't. Okay. Okay. We'll be fine. We're nearly to our cap of, of people in town. We're eating a lot eating a lot of that food. Mm, go there, make people happy. And um let's see. 
I'll lower my rations back down to half. We don't need to keep cranking people in here. Um, we could, however, set up some dwellings if I had some wool. And we're kind of stuck until we get more wool in here. We can't really do much. Um, I could raise another army, a 300 bowman army. And go back down there. Surely 300 bowmen would do it. Right? Surely 300 bowmen would do it. I forget how to add to my, um, my army here. How do I select him? Um... I don't want to create a new army. I want to. I want to. I want to add them to this army, or just maybe just disband this army. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we can go up to. Yeah, well, I can't have any. We can do that. Two hundred sixty of those. Ninety crossbowmen. Twenty spearmen. Two hundred sixty bows. Maybe we get more cards. We could throw out some traps. We could do... Um, rally call, take initiative, ladders. We're not worried about that stuff. War cry. Obstacles. Let's just get more of... What was the one that looked really good? That one. Take aim was good. Can I have another one of those? I want more of those. Hmm. Obstacle on an enemy slot next to an allied unit. Takes two hits before it's removed. We could try that. Might save our archers if that's what we're going to be doing. Let's buy one of those. Okay. Here we go. Are we ready now? I think we're good now. All right? We can't. We can't possibly lose again. Can't possibly lose again. You know? Not possible. Not possible. The youth families of the realm are blessed with many healthy children. What will the future bring? Extra birthright. All right, good, because we got a lot of them about to a lot of them are about to disappear. Uh, here we go. March on in there, and uh, let's um, let's win. I think he's moving away because health is going down. Happiness is way down. Um, let me. Hmm. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Well, it's it's spring, right? So we're going to get fed here pretty soon. Now we're going to leave it. Happens to way down because we're, raise, we're raising armies. People don't like that. Okay, it was summer. Now it's fall. All right. Maybe I should let the AI lead the battle. Okay, let's do it. All right. This time, this time. Forget that last time. It didn't ever happen. Never happened. This time, though. This time. They got, they got nothing. They got nothing. We're going to throw in our peasants. Are going to go in here first. We want to claim that hill. Hills are good. Uh, we're going to get our spearmen in next. Like that. They're over there. We don't care about that. We're going to put in our archers on the hill. Uh, what are you being right there for? I didn't realize that was a red spot. Uh, and then crossbowmen can go in... Back here, I guess. Okay, I will... Um, you know, I'm going to sit in the archer spot. Okay, these are fine. Two of me. Okay, so these guys go first. Now we could do the cool thing 
Uh, or we could just like... Oh, 100 damage. We could do 100 damage to those guys. We could just kill that one right away. That sounds like... That sounds like a morale boost. 33 damage to that one. Let's just, let's just get a morale boost in here. There you go. Oh, Earthquake. Alright. Need 13 on that guy. We can go ahead and just... I think we need to come in here and just hit these... Hit these fellas. There we go. There we go. Morale boost. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't be sending him in there to die because that's kind of a morale hit as well. But we'll, uh, you know, it'll be alright. Who's blind firing? Oh, I got it. Okay. So wait, he okay. I'm drawing a card. Uh, I guess each turn. Um, let's see. Who's up next? This guy's up next. Uh, we can throw an obstacle in here. Uh, do we want to do that? We could throw one like, I don't know. Nowhere really necessary right now. We got to get rid of these guys. If I hit like. Take aim. It's going to lower him down. I wonder, because we're at the end of the round already, if I put take aim on him, he's already at the bottom of the round. Does it put him any... He can't go any further to the bottom of the round. So yeah, fine. That was that swamp. Is that what it was? Yeah, so stay away from the swamp. Is there a count? Oh, that's good, right? If we're a peasant, we get a good counter for being there. He's gonna hurt me hurt me real bad if I if I stay if I go in there. Let's go um let's go up here. Get on these uh these crossbowmen. Step. Okay, so now we've got our cool thing. We can we can basically get rid of these twenty seven. We can still win this, he says. No, you can't. Uh, we could set some place on fire. We could set Sussex on fire. Wherever the town is. That would be funny. Um, let's just blind fire and see what happens. Mm, two damage. I mean, what's the point of that? I'm not sure what the point of that one is. Uh, this guy's not going to do any good. So, do I want him to die? What we could do is we could march him there. And I think... Oh, he's going to go before me. Never mind. I'm going to try putting out that um, that barrier, like right there. Not that it really does anything. So let's go and hit, let's hit this guy, I think. He hits a lot harder, let's hit this guy. Yeah. There you go. Um. So I do want to put a barrier up. I kind of want to put it over here. When it's his turn, I'll put a barrier, like, I don't know, somewhere over here, and then... Maybe I don't need to use it. Maybe I'm just trying to use it for no reason. I'm not worried about those guys. I'm worried about these guys. Okay, archers. Big group of archers. Now we can put a barrier out. You know, it'd be kind of neat. Maybe. Maybe it's a waste. It doesn't really do anything. 
So we could also fire arrow this spot, like the town. Like we could fire arrow there, but he's just going to move. That would kill them pretty much. How much would that kill? That kills that kills every, all of them. Let's just put it there. There you go. Earthquake. But now they're on now they're on fire. Get out of my town. Ouch. Okay, well we don't want to go there. There you go. Lots of peasants, but they're doing doing good. Doing good. Yeah, finish this guy off. Almost. Okay. Now we rain arrows on these guys. Get out of my town. Our resistance is futile. Who's the Borg? My town! Alright. You are victorious. The cowardly enemy is fleeing the battlefield. Uh, what cowards will flee battlefields? Well, you wouldn't see me doing that. Alright, we got some gold, we got some ranged weapons, we got some spears, swords, heavy armor, some light armor. Sir Nook has won against the people. Excellent. Okay, I, I, I knew. You know, I was just goofing around the first time, and I wanted to show off what losing was like, because I don't do that ever. Okay, okay. We conquered our first region. So, population of is dwindling. Yeah, yeah, we got it. They're actually moving here, so you can see them moving down here, because they're thinking, what a nice place. Uh, it's conquered Sussex from the people. And we got some cash out of that. So... Let's get to work. So we have uh, three people in... Why are the people here? So, and you can see the stats all change as we as we move around. Uh, we have cows here. 200 cows. 200 cows. There are 400 cows here. I wonder if we should... If I change this over to sheep, it's going to kill the cows. But I kind of want to have a sheep farm. It's kind of important that we have a sheep farm. Hmm... I wonder if it's a good idea to disband my army for the health factors. Uh, they have tons of food here, so we'll leave the no they'll leave the rations fine. Um, and we should probably just build something. What does this town need? It needs probably a bathhouse. I need wool. I can't make anything. Um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to switch this one over. So if I switch to the sheep... Um, I, it kills all the cows. But, um, we really need to get some sheep in here. We gotta get some wool. The morale mechanics might, might be different because they're defending when I was attacking last time. There used to be a little thing here that would say whether people were leaving or joining your town. You can see they're leaving by this, but... I don't see it anywhere else. Is there a way of seeing that? You can see it there, minus two, 241, but I don't see anywhere else. Um, let's raise the rations. No more rations. We got a lot of food coming in, so it's fine. Keep the health up. Keep the happiness up. And all that. Um, you're working the cow fields. We got three on the fish fields. We got three in the wood. I think we're set. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move my army. Uh, do we come over here and just kind of take a peek? You know, we'll just... just uh, we'll hang out in town. You know, make, make a presence and all that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. My cows are all going to die. I know. But really, we need wool.
hey, the traitor is here. Rumors about your glorious battles, Sir Simfrey, at your service. All right. Population of Sussex is dwindling. No one wants to live here anymore. Uh, Lord Robert has conquered uh, that one this way. Yeah. I'm in. Okay. And Lord Robert wants peace. I accept Lord Robert. Oh, there's the trade ships. Cool. All right, the trader's here. I got tons of wood. I'm going to sell him. I've got a bunch of bows. What do they sell for? They sell for six a piece. That's good money. That's real good money. We'll sell like... Um, I could sell all of them for a lot of money. Hang on to that wood. Let's switch, move some wood folks over to the to the that. I think uh, I am going to buy. Go ahead and do that. Um, I do want to buy some um, some wool. Oh, we could buy sheep. My four bucks a piece. That'll help us get started. I don't want a hundred wool. A uh, hundred. Let's, let's just get like sixty. Bring them in, and we'll buy. Um, I don't even know if we need to buy wool yet. Okay, we'll buy we'll buy like twenty. I think that's enough to give us a building. Okay. Now, uh, I want you to come over here and work on that. In fact, you know, we got so many wood people over here. We're still bringing in tons of wood. I can make another a smith down here also to work on, um, yeah, let's do that. With, uh, I need stone and iron, which I don't have either of those. I need eight more of each. Uh, I want to buy eight of those, eight of those. That way one smith can make uh, weapons, the other one can make armor. And then we're going to have one of you go work over there. There we go. Got three in the farms. Got tons of food. Um, if we really want to boost this uh, this sheep production, we might be able to move someone over there. There's not enough of what. Oh, is having... Oh, yeah, it matters. It's red as if it doesn't matter, but it does. Yeah, it does matter. Oh my god. Maybe it doesn't maybe it's like um diminishing returns or something. Okay. From this place. We got no bows here. No crossbows. Two hundred peasants. Should I should I do the army now and go get the other town? Yeah, I think so. If I take him down, it's gonna change what I'm paying for him. I think. What's that mean? Oh, if because that's how much money I have. That's how much what, what I will have. I got it. Um. I'm tempted to disband it, but I, I think I shouldn't disband it down here. I should disband it up here if I'm going to do it. Is there any reason to keep them around? Are they like, you're leveling up, aren't you? That's what that is. So I probably shouldn't. So I'm going to move you up to uh, up to here, up to London. Then we'll, then we'll decide what we want to do with you. There we go. Wool's coming in now. This place can't really hold any more any more people. We need a dwelling here also. Um, I have so much food here. Can I? What's it take to make a? Um, we can get a dwelling. It's five. How's this? Five hundred people. Let's do that. I'm going to tell one of you to go there, and 
20 you down there. We're actually losing wood for the first time. I can't believe it. Okay, it's fine though. Um, hang out here in town. Pass the turn. Yeah, the fights certainly have a Battle Brothers look to it. Kind of sort of same same art style. Hey, population in London has increased. We finally have people coming back. Good. Uh, we need someone over here working on some wood. Believe it or not. And uh, uh, my army, I would like more bowmen. 300 bowmen. Do we want one group of 300 or like multiple groups? Does it matter? I don't know. It makes people kind of mad. Uh, makes me happy, though. Do that. And um, we have our peasant melee army in front. 200 of them. We're going to bring in more. I don't want to lose again. Because that's kind of embarrassing. So, so we're going to go with, uh, oh, that's, that's bad. Nine. People are going to be real mad. Re revolutions are about to happen. We'll see how that goes. Uh, that should be a sizable enough army to take. I, I don't know about taking this keep. But I'm curious. So we're going to try. We're going to do, um, oh, they're mad. Uh, let's, let's cancel our taxes for a moment. And we'll keep the food coming in, even though we don't have a lot of food. We'll eat some, um... Yeah, we'll hold off on that. How do I get food transferred? Sussex to London. Let's send some send some food. How do you do that? Like that. And then, uh, do it. Cost me 200 bucks. Send... We're we'll, we'll gonna spend some money. Let's do it. Send a couple thousand over there. Maybe even more. Send 3,000 over there. 400 bucks. There you go. So they'll have food now. And um, they're real cranky. We can take a peasant and put them into here. Makes them one point happier. Which one point is a lot when they're at nine. And then we're going to grab this guy. And he's going to... Is it just me or do the peasants, like, look more angry? Go away. Did he look more angry? Did their faces change? Is that just... Am I just think, dreaming that? Okay. Let's go on the march. People aren't happy. we got to make them happy. How do we do that? By marching. People love marching. Great. <laughs> Great. Okay, we've got uh, a wagon from Sussex with 3,000 crops reached London. Excellent. So London is no longer so hungry. Uh, we've got the uh, dwelling is done down there, so no more peasant or no more whatevers. People in London are unhappy with my leadership. Well, put those knives away. Henry conquered Orléans. Down this way. Okay. Well. So red typically means they are doing nothing. Right? However, they are clearly doing something. I'm not sure what that means. And then you're making 23 of those. We got tons of wood. I could just take you off of wood and must still be useful. 46 versus 23. Yeah, that's good. I don't know why it's red. Um... You're still there making people happy. We could go and bump the rations up for a for a turn just to make sure that we just to make sure that we um, don't uh, have a revolution. I'm a little concerned about that. I think it's just a town guard, not like a castle or anything. And I'm also worried about these guys actually doing something. I think he's just I think he's just there for trade. We're fine. We we'll go for it. Okay. 
Where are we going? Winchester. That's where we're going. Big town. Uh, it's got a lot. This is actually a good looking place. Much better than this uh, little dinky place over here. So I'm quite happy with that. I didn't realize there was peasants just sitting there doing nothing. Um, that's the cow man, right? Let's put you on. We are eating the cows. Let's put you... Yeah, get this thing built. Right? Yeah, get it built one turn. Okay, that's done now. We now have a smith down south. Okay. We've got... Some of them. It was small last time. Now it's just some. I'm not sure if some is a lot. It looks like there's quite a, quite a herd there. I'm not sure what that means. Okay. I will place peasants. Now, what, what do we have here? Uh, these are just plains. These are woods. What's woods give us? Tell us what the defense bonus is, but it's got to be it's got to be good Do we want to fight back here? I think we do peasants in the woods peasants love woods And then we'll put our archers in the woods and our crossbowmen in, in the woods on a hill uh, I'm gonna sit with my archers. I think if they go to my flag I don't know if how that works if they win if it goes to the flag or if I I'm not sure if that does anything or not I don't remember that part Hey, Drazik. How's it going? Got me in the eye, looks like. Uh, what's the bonus here? Trees protect from arrows. Okay. Well, then we will mow this guy down. Uh, if I take aim, it takes a long time. We could also just burn somebody. Let's just burn the forest. Get them for 38. We could kill their archers. What do you think? I guess already gone. I'm not so scared of him. We could hit them and get him for 19. It is 100 spearmen. Pikemen. Let's do it. And I'll keep him from out, keep him out of that forest. This one might not be what we want. This might be a bad one. There's a lot of them. A lot of meat? Well, there was a lot of meat. Now there's 50 less. I thought the woods would help me. They are going for that, aren't they? Do you think I'm going to lose if I go there? I don't remember how that plays out. Let's just hit this guy. I'm nervous that's gonna I'm gonna lose or something because he's a step there. Ah, we're in the woods. Okay, he's gonna hurt a lot. And he uh is this can retaliate how much damage? Oh a lot of damage. No, uh, not really any can I can I put it there? No. I'm going to put take aim on... Who's up? He's up next. No, he hasn't. Um, let's just hit this guy. It's a crit. I think that's why, why there's an earthquake going on. Not a, not a fan of the shaky. Can't quite reach that, so we're going to have to um, just do away with this guy. Oh, he hurts a lot. Let me see. We are breaking it. Whatever they're doing. Oh, yeah, minus... Was that minus 30 my minus 30? Was that their minus 30? from before. Man, that hurts. I 
I gotta get these guys out of here. Does that mean I'm the... I am going to... Take aim. He's in the trees. He's great. Okay, his turn now. Do we just finish these guys off? I think so. If I kill them, he's gonna kill me. But this, we'll just kill him off. There we go. I don't even want you in the open, but... Okay, so now you can do 50 damage to these guys. That would be good. Oh, no! I have that card that makes it where, like, a decoy card or something, until so you don't do any damage. Ah! Man, that's the worst. I gotta get out of here. We gotta run. We're gonna run. Not gonna run, but we're gonna we're gonna go move these guys over here. Away from them. Step aside. The, the crossbowmen are much more defensible than my archers. I'm not scared of peasants. No, they're burning my house down. Good. Tactical repositioning. That's right. That's right. Um, we gotta get on these archers. Can I go like that? Yeah. Get on these archers. Take that. Not sure what the little chain there is, is all about. Got lots of bonuses there. Are we on a hill right here? Oh, we are on a hill. Okay, that's an even better spot to be anyway. What's the other one we have? Uh, oh, Blind Fire, which doesn't even seem to do anything for me. Um, I'm sure we can kill them. We can... do some real damage. That we could kill those guys off, but this is the threat. The unit bound can only attack the unit bound to it. Oh, that's what that means. All right. All right. Well, then do the then do the blind fire. That'll work. Perfect. Some of the troops are spooked at the loss. If I should kill them, uh, the train. Okay, let's get these guys. Yeah, train type, good. Well, thanks for popping over here, Jurassic. Sorry, I missed your comment there. Watched a lot of, uh, dozens of hours of Dwarf Fortress. Yeah, I'll probably play, uh, I'm certainly gonna be playing some more of that here, uh, in a couple days on the, uh, the big, the big day. My, um, my YouTube birthday day. I'll probably get some Dwarf Fortress in there. Uh, you Are you bound? You are bound again. But we don't have that card anymore, so you're going to have to just punch him. So, uh... Yeah, get the punch in. Gotta get rid of that guy. Man, Ashry, I was watching... Who was I watching? I think I was watching Blind play. And he was doing this thing with a bridge. Like a... He had like a giant map doing some sort of bridge thing. And I thought, that that sounds like... I want to do that. So we might do some sort of... Something like that. Build a big bridge across something. Why is he just standing there? Not doing anything. <laughs> Map size dwarf and Adam Smasher. Yeah, yeah. That <laughs> Brazo and Tinty. 
me Adam Smasher named Undindi. Perfect. I'm never gonna find a map. I've done a map with a river and kind of like a bridge over it. I'm gonna fucking. I wonder if I could find, like, a big river to build a bridge over. Okay, so he's kind of stuck in there. He's going to be hurting him if he if he shoots this guy, so... You're not, like, stuck on this guy, though, so I think... Is that That's a hill also? Yeah. Uh, I do want to put this obstacle out, because I don't want him getting on my archers. Throw that in there. And if I hit you, you're going to hit me back for really hard. I'm going to shoot this guy. Um, I'm going to hose myself there. Oh, don't mind if I do. I'm going to take your town, buddy. What was that? A uh, dad joke. All right. Um, so, um, there's this, um, I saw this news report uh, just the other day. And the off there was an officer talking with a detective. And um, it, it kind of quote, quoted the officer and the detect detective talking back and forth. I, I found it interesting. So the officer says there, um, the, these, the victims were all dismembered and sacrificed on an altar made of antlers. Pretty heinous crime. To where the detective replies, Dear God. That's it. That, that's the dad joke. Let's let's shoot some crossbowmen. Uh, what's morale, morale bad for the people's army? Oh, yeah, let's take the town and smack them. There you go. All right. <laughs> you know the jerk works, joke works when you have to say that's it. That's the end. <laughs> On an altar of antlers. Dear God. Get it? I, I, I know you get it. You just don't want to laugh because it's too funny. I understand. I don't know if I should be doing anything with these guys. They're just getting hit. I wonder if I should, like, be, um... Well, I guess it's alright. This will probably kill them off. Well, not quite. Those trees... ...cause me grief. That's true. That's true. We got no, no, no omtinti. Victorious. I think it's gotta be a morale thing. And you, their morale meters are... There's one right behind my head, and there's one over here. I think it's when it hits zero. You can see it, kind of, as it goes. How do we do? We... we I lost a lot of folks. What, 350? We lost almost 400 people. They lost more. So, I take that as a win. Alright, we now have Winchester. Alright, so you conquered your third region. You might not want to handle all your regions by yourself. Use the purple and, and uh, auto-govern button. Uh, yeah, the auto-govern button. Well... Well, yeah, we can see what that does for us. You have four people over there. I think that was possible. Oh, three was a, was the max. Oh, it's, it's up. I forgot you can upgrade things. You can upgrade things. I forgot. Okay. Got that one. Um, yes, yes. It looks just like that. And uh, we got 700 gold out of that. So that was a good good fight. Um, let's try it. Let's see what, what the old auto, um, auto thing does for us. So here in Winchester... What do you guys have here? You have cows? Of course you have cows. Everyone has cows. And a lot of lumber coming in. Where's the mines? What is that? Nothing. You've got this thing over here. I can send someone over here there to work on this. I'm gonna. We're gonna take a couple of these folks. Oh, there's a farm right here. Okay. Pop one in the farm. Pop one in... How do I do that? Uh, not much of use. Maybe some of its remains can be used for a new building. I thought I could put a building there. I thought I could put someone on there to work it. Maybe not. Yeah, really the only option here is to work the stuff that I've got. But we've got this other farm here, though, and this should be... We could do horses if we want to start getting horses. I think arm, uh, sheep 
are the more important thing, though. Don't eat the sheep. And then, I'm going to go ahead and put you on auto. Are you trying to double ration these people? What are you doing that for? Because they're mad. Okay, well, let's hang out in town here. We got one more region to get to. Cornwall over here. Oh, they have a stone mine in Cornwall. Do we just keep marching? What do we have left? 300 men, level 3 crossbowmen. We could probably use more crossbowmen. Can I have some more crossbowmen? Yeah. People are a little mad about that. Puts us at 80. We can have a few more of these guys. People are a little mad about that. Um, we did lose a lot of people last time. Go to like 260. I don't know. We gotta go like a little higher. 300. 300. No more than that. It's a good amount of people going in there. I think we can do it with this. Um, okay. Okay. 374. How much experience we got? Oh, this stuff. Uh, is there anything new we can get? There's the decoy one. Next time the target unit is attacked, attacker and defender deal no damage. Can I have that? I have to work my way up to it. I can get some traps. I can get stakes. Next time cavalry attacks. Protection against range units. Man, I don't know about this stuff. We could start up with... I want to upgrade this stuff more. Hmm. Until we get... There's the bind thing that they had before. Until we get, like, um... Cavalry. I don't see much use for a lot of this. We'll take this one. This one seems okay. Okay. I guess I can get a fresh deck. I think, it's, I think it just cleans it. So I have multiple decks, I think. I can just throw in the combat. Okay, let's do that. Uh, save the army. People are real mad, uh, but they'll understand. They'll get it. I'm not sure if we can lose from people re re revolting from us. We're going to find out. It's spring now. Spring's not the time for revolution. People are stealing my money. That's time for revolution. Um, Sir Gilhold is is uh, requesting to, to join me. Winchester is mad. Why don't you deal with it, buddy? Um, the, uh, oh, here in London, people are, love me, love me in London. Uh, I can build another, oh, I got two guys here. We could build another army. We're not gonna do that, but we could build it with the, with the general that's coming in. Um, I want you to work on the sheep. Can you do that? And I'm gonna have you work on bringing more bows in, I think. And then down here, oh, I'm doing nothing with these guys, whoops. Lots of bows. Actually, I think what I want you to do... You're the sheep people, right? Or you're the cow people. You're the cow people. Sheep people are up north. Maybe I make you be bowman. And then you be sheep man. Uh, armor. Armor man. So we're not making a lot of... We're still more minus 25. If we do that, we're, we're just breaking even. It's not bad. Can we have another one in there? Oh, three max. We can upgrade things. Uh, a few things. Upgrade my fields? I can't upgrade my fields. Extra, extra peasant. Um, let's just leave it like that. Get your food's okay. Sheep aren't being eaten. A lot of food getting eaten there. Uh, no more double rations. Let's not get carried away. Okay, no more rations there is fine. Okay, these guys are real mad. Okay. Now, 700 of us. There was 900 of us before. Uh, they don't have, like, a, uh, a 
um, a thing, a tower. So I, f I feel like easy pickings. Thanks, Drazik. I missed, sorry, Miss Spiffy Steve, I missed you. Thanks for following. All right, we got a small one here, it says. I refuse to let the uh, AI battle. This will get exciting when we start crossing crossing the board, uh, the waters. Okay, well, we most certainly want that hill. It's not, I'm assuming, a defensive. No, it's just planes. Well, we'll put the uh, peasants on the hill. I think we're going to something like... What is that? Swamp? Swamp. A structure. I think I can, like, do that. Another hill. Hill there. There's quite a few of them. Might be kind of a doozy. I think what we need to do is... We might need to rush this. Like here. Maybe, maybe we... Can we can we go ahead and just burn it? Set fire to it. Is that a good idea? Because now when I go in there, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be hurting me. Maybe that was a bad idea. That might have been a terrible idea. Oh, well, that, maybe it's a good idea. He's going to stay there. He's going to burn. That's the card I just drew. I don't care about. Hang in there, peasants. You're doing good. You're doing good. Um, these guys are really good. And we're at the end of the round, right? Just me and the peasants left, so we should take aim. Next attack does 75% more damage. You get to go first now. Um, they're all going to retaliate and kill you. He won't kill you, kill you quite as much. So play that, play that, that card. Can you? Oh, four arranged unit. Eh. Get him, buddy. Now, attack seven, attack four. These guys hurt quite a bit. Uh, do we want to kill maybe 34 of these guys or all of these guys? Hey, come on, how's it going? I think we got to hit this one. Good, no card on him. Excellent, 43. They're not going to last very long. They're just there for decoys. It's rough being a peasant in my army. You know, um, it really puts a damper on uh, your life. Uh, and uh, not recommended. This guy's going to go and, and he's going to go and be a jerk, isn't he? Mm. Can't reach over there, can I? If I tell you to... I want you to... Do something good with it. There you go, that's good. Hey, cannabis. How's it going? 
Is he going to stay right there? Oh, he is. He's just going to keep on burning. It's going to hurt my morale when he goes in there, but it's going to hurt my morale even more if, um, if this guy lives. Man, crossbowman. Good stuff. I'm getting off my hill, but... Got some range. Um, I have to move this guy. I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna go. You think he can make it? How far can he move? How do I see his movement? I think I can, if I go here, you think he can hit me? Let's go here to this hill. And I'm going to move up and over. Try to lure him up closer. My camp! I had SpaghettiOs in there. This is one hot slot. Okay. Okay, there goes their, um... Oh, there goes... The, that was a king that just left. Or whatever. The leader. All right, got some cash out of that one. Good, good. I was a little worried about that. First looking into it. Timmy Braveheart is his name. All right. So we're going to camp out in town here. And in Cornwall, we're going to go and give us some stone. We finally have stone now. And I think it counts, like... No matter where I go, it counts as stone being... Yeah. Stone is just a resource that I have empire-wide. We've got free farmers over there. we got tons of food in this place. Uh, people are real mad about me living here. I don't know how to get rid of these. Um, I know there's a way of doing it, but I don't know how. Can I upgrade this mine? No. Okay, so we'll leave him there to do get stone. Stone's good. Uh, I don't have any iron. So I guess we have to go across the bay for that. There's the brambles you can clean out for a field. So, uh, old blue guy here is the weak one. He's Lord Bert. Is the, um... He's like the... Well, they're all, they're all normal difficulty, but he's like the beginner AI. I don't know if we should go for him first. I'm going to go ahead and put Le Winchester on auto also. And we'll go back over here and pay attention to London. We are bringing in... How much armor we got? Oh, we got lots of armor. We're getting in 60 and 60 each. So we're getting ourselves some good archers. We should get somewhere over here. When we start getting peasants in on this side, we'll start putting in some, another smith maybe to get some... Um, some swords and things. I'm looking at the, we're actually overpopulated on both these sides. Let's get dwellings put in, some dwellings put in. Uh, this guy. I'm gonna sell you. I'm gonna sell you some wood. 1400 wood. And I'm gonna buy from you. I need to buy some iron. Set taxes and rations for each town. Some are still half rations. Um, they're half rations on purpose. The um, when I put these, when I like Cornwall and Winchester, I said on auto, they auto do it. Um, but I keep I keep them on half. Like London's happy, so I'm keeping it on half because I don't want to overpopulate it. Ninety stone a turn's good stuff. I wonder if I should buy some iron from this guy. While he's here, we're gonna buy a little bit. Always oh, here, and I got a lot of cash. 2,000 bucks for five. Well, it's not, we don't need 500 of it. Let's buy 
Let's buy like 400. And then whenever we... That, that'll give us the ability to make some swords and things. And we can build some melee besides just having peasants going out there. So if you can see Cornwall, that's that's what it that's what it manages is tithe and rations. I don't think it builds things. Um, it may move people around, but I'm not entirely sure about that. I'm gonna move. I don't know if I need 90 stone. Right, not not here. We're not gonna get attacked. We don't need castles on this side. You can build castles. That's one of the things you can make here, like a stone or a town guard. Of course, for defense, you can make a stone wall or wood walls, which actually go on the on the land. So we'll get him working on that one, um, and then we'll go over here. It's same thing. Make another one. Make a church is nice. If I had the stone, and do I really not have wood? We do we sell all of it? I did, didn't I? <laughs> um, next turn we'll make a church. There's enough food over here. Um, he's trying to make people happy. You're, you're done with that. Let's go get some more wood in here. Next turn, we'll go make a church in this spot. And... Um, I think that's good. Oh, we got an extra person here. Let's go do more, more wood. Okay. Okay. A lot of, a lot of s slow times when there was just, just me, but now that we've got... I'm just one province. Now we got a four. It's more to look at. Hey, crop harvest. All right. New general has arrived, Sir Giesman. And Cornwall are unhappy with me. Well, I'm happy with him. So I hope they enjoy the feeling. The Blood Brothers are here for 1500 bucks and upkeep of 300 I could buy them. What, what do you all... I don't wish I could know like how many are there. Like, I might hire you. 300 upkeep. I'm making that much money. We could hire you and then we could storm across the bay the um, straight, whatever, canal, whatever you want to call it, into here. I'm assuming because there is two flags, it's, uh, it's a little more exciting than the other ones, but how many of the other ones have? I can't really see them. How about you? I can't see them. You have two flags. You have two flags. They all have two flags? It doesn't have two flags. Oh, yeah, it does. Yellow. Well, we could hire those guys and march over here and take that one. Yeah. People are mad, but people are just kind of mad all the time. Let's do that. And... We've got 155 peasants. I could say no peasants, and uh, that'll make people more happy if we get rid of the peasants. Don't do anything anyway. So let's get rid of the peasants. They're level three peasants, though. You know, they've been in some combat, so they, they're, they're good. They're good. They're worth it. Keep them around. Keep them around. Yeah, save that. I'm going to go, and I'm going to buy these guys. Okay, so now, how do I use them? I heard the mercenary, where are they now? They're not in my army. There they are. It's just a hundred of them? Sure that was worth it. Okay, now let's go to the docks. Flags are just it's just the color. It's it's just it's just a symbol. It doesn't mean anything. I thought it did, but it, it does not. This place. You get three of them working there, so you will get that done pretty quick. Good, because we got beggars. Um you're gonna get a church this turn if we can afford it now. Uh, I'm short on stone, eh? Oh, did I move everyone over there? Oh, you did. 
You did. Don't do that. You can keep two of them in there. Let's not get carried away, though. We still need that stone coming in. Okay. Wintertime. We love marching in the wintertime. Cornwall about the revolt. Um, Cornwall is dwindling. Extra person right here who is going to go and work on... Can I shift you to different towns? No, you don't want to leave. Maybe some more armor. Yeah, we got, we got the resources for it. Okay. Okay. Uh, do I have enough for a church? This one's a little overpopulated. This one's getting a dwelling in there. One hundred fifteen. Okay, next turn we can get that church in. And then we're in a boat. We want to go here, right? What if there's boat battles? Wild wolf has appeared in your animal pastures. What? Wild wolf has appeared in London. You can either leave it or send in peasants to fight it. Okay. Starving army. Your army between Leon and Channel Islands has now been without proper food for months. Why? Why are they without, without food? Why not? What's that mean? Turn that off. These guys aren't paying attention. Double ration for a while. We got plenty of food. Get this happiness up. There's five people in there. The dwellings are done, so that's under control now. Um, okay, that's good. Over here, we got a, we got a church to build. And we're going to let the woods folk do it. We'll have it done in three turns. In fact, we'll get it done in, in um, two turns. Okay, over here. Lots of bows, lots of armor. Three folks doing nothing. Let's get... Uh, let's make something. Uh, oh, well, let's get those wolves right. That's why they're not doing anything. Get those wolves out of there. And I think that's it. Okay. So we go there. Uh, yeah, we can, we can, we can build castles, which I'll probably have to do here when we get to the mainland. Okay, the beast was slain. We got the wolf. We've got a small army of uh, freaky folks here in France. Yeah, if you remember Lords of the Realm, there's a lot of similar, a lot of, a lot of similarities here. All right, so we got to go march over this way. There's folks on a boat, archers on a boat. Hmm. Okay, so may, we're all like it's all planes, so we're just gonna go and fight them. There, are you all gonna be in a boat? I'd rather you not all be in a boat. Okay, that's what you want to do. Um, I'm going to sit here with these guys. Mm, can we burn the boats? I'd love to burn some boats. Oh, we got that bond thing stuck on us. Well, he's going to be dead pretty soon. Uh, what I want to do is fire arrows. Can I do that? On him, you think? Let's try it. I don't think he's going to be in range. No, it's only going to be that guy. Well, that's kind of a waste. Um, 
Hmm. Guess we don't have to actually use it. We're gonna, I don't think. I think we get. I think next. I think we just use it next turn. So it's not a big deal. So we're, we're gonna move our way up. Next turn, fire. He's playing a card of some kind. Defending himself in the dock there. We're gonna burn that dock. That's what we're gonna do. Um, I don't have anything for you to do. I'm gonna give a take aim to my crossbowman. I'd like you to get this, uh, this get this guy off of them. I think he's got it under control. Uh, just come over here and, and uh, you know, be bait. That's what you do. Real good at it. Real good at it. Yeah, let's get rid of these guys. Okay, so my crossbow aren't stuck in there anymore. And... Oh, we can almost kill that guy. Is it because he's in a boat? He's entrenched. Alright. Huh. Some of these little animations need, need, need to be a little faster. There was some issues. I remember issues with last uh, last time I played with some some lag with it. Like every turn was like a real real laggy, but they seem to fix that for the most part, which is nice. Okay, uh, let's we'll just kill this guy because he is um, the leader right there, and his boat is on fire now. That's one hot slot. Can my peasants kill them off? How many are in there? Five. My peasants could have the kill. Yeah, they want it. Oh no, they want to um, get up on this archer. Um, yeah, he's gonna burn. Okay. Unless the ocean's burning, that could be it. Let's just go ahead and get this guy. I would, well, we could put the... Oh, I throw an obstacle. Oh, you, right. Oh, yeah, put it right there. That way he can't hop off so easy. And then, let's, uh... Just fire anywhere. Just hit somebody. Not that guy. Hmm. <laughs> Oh man, smoke on the water. When I was in band, that was like that was like the song. Every football game, we'll play that game. I play that song so many times. That's all I can think about is band when I hear that song now. All right, hey archers, say hello to my archers. Ah, oh, the decoy. I hate that card. I hate that card. I hate it. He's burning, right? Aren't you going to die? Okay, I'm just kind of waiting for the guy to die. We'll go ahead and shoot him. Why aren't you dead yet? You're in your little, uh, your scary little imp there. Okay, got some gold. We we didn't lose very many people that time. That I think I'm I think I might be learning how to play the game. So typically, see this screen right here, uh, it's showing you. Typically, when you go into the game, you kind of build your knights. You choose your family line, and you choose like some other perks for your guy. I didn't get that. Um, 
And I guess it's just because it was sort of like a clean... Uh, it wiped everything because it's been so long since I played the game. And I guess updates and things have changed things. So I got a clean wipe with it. So I don't get to go back and get that kind of stuff. Unless it's all... Maybe it's all new. I thought I remembered it from last time, but maybe not. Uh, Alright, so he's going to work those, those brambles to give us a new field. Uh, we've got a bunch of food coming in here. And this place seems pretty nice. People are happy. They love having me around here. Good, good. We should go kill this blue guy down here. Uh, so yeah, if we can build a... If we want to, we can build... Um, walls. Like, uh, like uh, wooden walls, stone walls. Around the place. We ever get that church marked out? That's it, right? And then, how about over here? You guys are always really, really sad about things. Why don't you make... Those are dwellings. Why don't you make a church also? We'll do that. You can get in there. And enough food around here. We don't need, we don't need double rations, I don't think, anymore. So I don't get carried away. Okay, lots of cows, cows, cows. And then sheep up here. We have tons of sheep. If we start eating sheep, you know, we're gaining 100 sheep, we should start eating sheep. See, that, that's that's another thing. I didn't I didn't pick a lineage. You can pick, like, Plantagenet and, and uh, what's it, Capetian or whatever. Um, I didn't get that option because uh, I guess first, first round in here since I played forever. I was looking for it. I didn't pop in. Um, what else can we make here? We could always upgrade things. Like, what about upgrading... We actually almost are out of cap. We upgrade our... That's the castle. We upgrade, like, the, um... More beds. Happier patrons. We don't have money for it. Next turn we could do it, though. Let's do that next turn. How's everyone doing as far as population? You're good. You're fine. You're you're over, but you're going to get that that church. And then you are what? Over. But you'll have that next turn. Two turns. Okay, now the army. I'm just going to park them right there. I'm sure they're going to take a, I'm sure it's going to be pretty tough taking those blue guys. Even though they are my ally. Okay, church. Uh, we got another, another uh, knight wanting to join us. Uh, Leon is dwindling. Uh, I don't know why. It's People are happy here. We got another person here in England. And we're going to go and upgrade. Oops. More beds. Okay. Got beggars over here. Uh, this one is is set. And you built your church. Next turn. people were happier, I'd move more people in. Um, which we can. So let's get some more. What am I missing? Am I missing people? I'm missing money. Okay. Uh, what's the tithe here? Quarter tithe. They're pretty happy. I'll do that. Half tithe. And then what's this one at? Quarter tithe. Let's go to half. You guys are kind of cranky, so I'll leave you um, a normal tithe here. Put you a half. Everyone else is real mad, except for here. Because they're not paying any taxes. Normal tithe for you guys. Let's bring some money in, and we'll raise an army next turn. Um, I have so much stuff. Can we just freeze? Why did the game just crash on me? Don't do it to me, game! How dare you! Dang you, game! Bah! I was just talking about how you weren't laggy as much as you used to be, and now you're breaking on me! 
surely it all saves between, between, uh, uh well, you, you can close now. Close now, please. Close now. Oh, man. All right. There better be an autosave. Or else. Things are going good, though. I'm, I'm, uh, I think I'm winning. Um, what are we doing? What's, what's that one? Continue. Fix my screen in a second. Okay, yeah, I understand. I understand. Where am I at? Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Um, it has this thing where it locks the mouse, so I can't move my window. How's that looking? All right, where are we at? I think we're we're just right where we were, right? Beggar spawn in London. I got it. Okay, we're making that. Uh, do we upgrade this thing yet? Upgrade that thing. There we go. Okay, conquer that. Population dwindling. Night. Church made. People hanging around doing nothing. Um, what were you guys doing? You built the. You just built a church. Okay. Uh, where are those fields? Why aren't we working those fields? Oh, they're horse, horse fields? Yeah, I want some knights. Don't eat the horses, but raise some horses. Good idea. And then what's over here? More cows. Just trying to get reacquainted with what's happening here. Okay, good. We took this one now. We, we'll raise an army as soon as we fix our tithe. That's what happened. We crashed the game because we didn't want to pay our taxes. Pay your dang taxes. No more rations, normal tithe. Okay. You guys are fine. You are skate going up, so that's a good thing. Half tithe, no tithe, because they're kind of cranky around here, but they're, gonna, they're they're happy enough to pay taxes. You guys are very happy, so you can pay more. Okay, next turn. We'll have 500 bucks next turn, so we're going to use that to raise an army. And then and then March. Uh, it's it's winter time. The snow's on the ground. It's time to walk. Time to walk. It's a lot of warnings. Lots of peasant in Winchester. Okay. Uh, are these all pop-ups on... Yeah. Dwindling. Dwindling. So the thing about immigration in this game, big deal, is... Um, you don't, like, gain population. I think you do gain a little bit of population from, from like, growth, from, from people having babies. A lot of it, though, comes from other places in the world. So, like, if London is losing population, they're going somewhere in the world. So, you know, maybe maybe Ruin is getting the population that is leaving London. And so that's where you're... Like, if, if my towns are all doing good and prospering, it's hurting the other folks, the French folks. So it's it's a good idea to keep your towns happy because it's not only helping you, it's hurting them. Um, the other thing is, though, you've got to make sure you've got to, like... Um, you got to feed them, you know? Got a wood camp over there. Feed them and house them and all that. Uh, I would like to have... There's a thousand food over here. They're eating a bunch of it, but I'm going to turn this into a, another sheep farm, I think. So we can get more wool in here. We only have a hundred, and we're using that for armor. So that's what that's going to be. And are we still doing horses up here? Was that last... Before the crash? Yeah. Um, there's no one there working it. Uh, are you on auto? Yeah, don't do that. Don't do dumb things. Okay, the trader is here. If there's something we want to get rid of, I guess we can get some things. Get some more cash to... Um, I have 400 armor. I have 400 iron, which we bought from him, I think. 800 wood. Which only sells for a buck. Um, no, I won't buy them. Okay, so let's get our army raised up here. Um... I've I have the ability to put in a bunch more of these fellas. I got 500 crossbowmen. Crossbowmen are the best. My favorite. We're raising them from Leon here. And that's are we out of people? Why can we have? We can't have more archers because we're out of bows. I could have 46 an army of 46 spearmen. 
Let's do that. We can raise them up a little, little, uh, a little later on. Raise up more of them. Uh, do we want more peasants? Peasants are good. I kind of like. I. I mean, I'm kind of, kind of partial to peasants. That puts me up to an army of what? Eleven hundred. Yeah, I like that. Okay, they're called the elite. They call themselves. Let's not march on blue yet. But we're going to come over here to take this place. Ooh, look at this place. It's got walls. Maybe we won't take this place. What do you have? You've got nothing. Should I go get blue guy? Will, will blue guy let me attack him? I would like tell him, hey, blue guy. We're coming to kill you. We'll do it next turn. We don't want to give him too much of a heads up. 1,100 of us are standing on his border. He, will, he won't know what hit him. The snows aren't falling, so it's not really fighting time, but we'll do our best. There we go. We can sometimes... Oh, yeah, she looks thrilled to have <laughs> to be blessed with fertility. <laughs> Perfect. Unhappy people in Leon. Yeah, because they're now an army. Uh, Rogue. Shady figures offering his services to you. Oh, yeah. I don't mind if I do. I, I, like, I like those kind of services. What, what you got? Where are you? How do we do that? This guy? Is there a... Oh, yeah. What do we, what do, we do with you? For a price, the rogue can use, use to attack other figures, spy on regions, infantry armies, and arson workplaces. Each task has its own failure rate, and failure can be deadly in some circumstances. If I use a rogue, we'll steal 1% of the region's wealth. I don't want you here. Can I move you? Can I, like, put you... Um... Like in here? Is that how that works? Looks like yellow dots. So we'll put you over here and we'll, we'll spy on these guys and see about their walls. We're coming from blue. We are no more friends with with blue. Blue is the worst. We hate him. Bert, you're the worst. I'm at war with Robert. When did that happen? Maybe we should go get Robert. Maybe we should, maybe we should not have two enemies. Let's go get Robert hates us. I hate Robert, too. I think I can walk through their territory without fighting. So if we can walk through here and fight them on the bridge or something. Oh, hey, hey, uh, Slosser? Yeah, Major Monsters. I enjoy Major Monsters quite a bit. That was a lot of fun. Thanks for popping in here. Let's put them over there. These guys are mad. Let's uh, let's give them more rations to make them happy, and less money, less less, less taxes, because they're real cranky. Um, yeah, Major Monsters was that um, like uh, uh, auto battler kind of um, thing I played. Well, when did I play that a few few nights ago, really fun. I haven't put it on YouTube yet, but good stuff. Make sure everyone's working like this. I'm going to put you on there, I guess. Okay, three of those. We could upgrade this thing to get more armor, which we always need. I've got two of them sitting here doing nothing. Did the rogue ever leave? Oh, he's already marked. Okay. Oh, I, I just ruined it. I forget what turn I'm on here. Over there. Rogue. Well, let's send you to the Greenlands then. Can I sit you over here? I think I know them enough to be able to, to infiltrate them, so I'll go over there. And then. What shall we build over here? Anything worth worth uh, making? Yeah, we need we need something. We don't have a church over here, do we? We'll build a church next turn. Over here. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It has a little bit of a Monty Python. I see that. Uh, look. Let's 
going on? Leon is dwindling. Okay, so now now we can make a church because I don't I don't have a church, right? We never made one of those. We've got town center in at the bathhouse bathhouse up there. I could I could stick my my troops there and make them happy. Let's just get a uh, a church there, and we'll let these two guys that are working in there. Okay, the army. Now, can I move you? Can we just go through? We have to go to the town. I don't want to really fight the town, especially not this town. Yeah, I can't go that way. So we we'll have to go. We'll go have to go by boat. So I'll hop on the boat and then move move that way. I think we'll hit him. I think we just hit him right in here. Looks like my spy is not there yet. I guess he's on a boat somewhere. Is that him? Yeah. Really, I want to hit these guys right here. I think I can get an ar I could probably raise an army. Can we? Can we tell you to go there? No, I can't. Yeah, let's go there. We'll move our army over. Peasant for your sheep in Leon. Hang on a minute. Why isn't there a peasant over here? Did we lose one? I think we did. People are unhealthy and unhappy. Um, let's go... We got tons of food. Let's go double rations. That'll make them healthy and happy. Yeah, 10,000 food over here. I was like, what is that army? <laughs> it's okay. The red boats are the good guys. Okay, now the population is going back up. Okay, good. So we'll go back to normal rations. And then we will go... This guy's gonna go work on. Uh, yeah, just go there. It's fine. Okay. So I'm out here for now. I'll see where he goes. I might need to dock up here just to get some more people and uh, and build my army a bit. So we'll stop over here. Then we'll head up to uh, Sussex. And increased our army size. We got 300 of those. We need some more cash. I was going to use it to buy uh, something up there, but I think I'm going to use it for people making. Oh, you know what? We should go to London because they've got too many people. 3,600 people here in London. Uh, well, in the interest of more money, we'll double the tithe here. Triple the tithe. For one turn, it's fine. You'll be fine. I promise. I promise. Here, have more food for a turn. Everything will be okay. Winter time. It's the time for fighting. Starving army. I'm between the Strait of Dover. So we just can't like. It says for months out of food. Morale is bad. Move to a more prosperous region. I don't know what that means. What are you supposed to do? You have to stop in the waters. If I go, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to go like around here. Let's stop there. Next turn, so we can get fed, I guess. It's almost done. Church is almost done. Okay, four people doing nothing over here. Okay, I'll turn you back on. Put them out somewhere. Pretty big town. Like my church. Can we upgrade it? Ah, 400 bucks. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the birth rate went up. Oh, boy. Starving army again. Not sure what to do about that though. They're here. Let's move them. 
over here. We'll start moving everyone on to auto for now. For some reason, I don't want to work the sheep farms, but I want the sheep. I'm not sure why they don't listen to me. Like, I don't need wood. What are they thinking? This is the. This is not what I want. Sheep. We want sheep. Got it. Okay, my spy is here. What can my spy do? We could send the spy. I can't go in there. I want you over here, but you can't seem to. Oh, I can go there. Maybe we can go there and see some more stuff. Are oh, you gonna go bounce all the way to Paris? Okay, I'll catch them next turn when they're in Paris. Okay, church done. Population is dwindling. Is dwindling. Uh, Orlan has been blessed with a bishop. Oh boy. Okay, so now. Now. Where is he? You. So, what it say about you? For a price, road can you be used to attack other fight figures, spy on regions. What's the price? He's just stealing some of the wealth. That, that's what your price is, buddy? Yeah, just stay there and do that. They have like a castle. A wooden castle. I need some siege equipment for that. What if we go... Can I send you over here to Bree? Where do we want to go? No, we want to go to this one. M-E-N. Wood walls there too. Okay, now let's go sit at home. Okay, you two. Um, let's get. Uh, hang out in there for now. We have a church. We can now still not support the amount of people we have in town. Upgrading will give us more people. Let's do that. Did I put you the dock? That's supposed to be the dock. That's not the docks, right? Okay, people are somewhat happy here. Um, let's raise an, uh, more army. I need more swords. That's what I need. Thousand crossbowmen, that sounds like a quite a deal. Um, I'm gonna tell you to stop making armor and start switching over to we've got all that iron. Let's make some let's make some swords. Wood and iron to make swords. Yeah. Make some of them. So the reason I came over here is to uh, take away some of them peasants. We got some peasant problems over here, and that's kind of the reason I'm I'm here. And in fact, we could raise a bunch. Um, now, we're going to get 90 swords next turn, though. So maybe we should just sit on that. Uh, in fact, I'm going to tell you, buddy. You make me some swords also. Let's just crank out. We'll have an extra 180 sword swordsman next turn. Yeah. And then we march. Um, I don't know if... Siege weapons are a thing. I feel like maybe it's gonna be it's gonna be important to have siege weapons if they have castles. I know one of the X, XP things was something to do with ladders. I think extra taxes this season. Oh, it's perfect, perfect. Now we want. Um, oh, I can't hire one more. Yeah, yeah, we can. I want swordsmen. Twelve. Oh, they have to have that kind of armor. That's just the worst. I know they need that. I, well, what am I making all this garbage for? That's not what I want. Um, okay. Uh, change of plans. Make that stuff. Make 65 of them. I don't have an iron mine, and I would love to have one. 
Who has an iron mine? That's what we need to get. What are you doing here? Ooh, the tiny here has an army. Can you see what's in his army? Infiltrate that army. Working on it? I'm not sure what the four there means. Do we wait a turn and get 65 more swordsmen? Or, um, well, like 80 some swordsmen? Probably a good idea. We don't have enough iron for that, so not much use. We can make spears. Five. Why only f oh, because of the iron it needed? Yeah. Well, I don't have any iron. Alright, just go back and make, some, make your dank bows. Yeah, we'll finish that. We'll wait a turn. We'll wait one more turn. Everyone's on auto, so it, if we get a peasant, it should handle it on its own. Whether they do what I want them to do, you know. Whatever. But. We should be good. My old wolf has appeared. Father Frost holds Obelin in its cold grip. Animals and people suffer alike. Will this winter ever end? One round of additional winter. Birth rate's bad. Chance for wolves. A never-ending winter. Wolf has appeared in Sussex. Okay, well, they're dealing with it. Um, all right. People in London are starving. Are they? What are you starving for? What happened to my food? That's a problem. That's a real problem. We're eating our only sheep. Uh, you got 4,000. How much do you have? Nine thousand. Why don't you? Uh, why don't you send some stuff over here? To London. Okay, London's very hungry. Apparently, we have rogues over here. I'm gonna have you sit. Uh, My rogues go, they die. Go there. Yeah, London's starving. Am I eating sheep? Eating all my sheep up. Uh, well, before they starve, we should probably get out of here. So, let's go and get... Swordsman. 77 swordsmen. Okay. Uh, what are you using? Pikes and armor. That's it. Okay. I'm happy with that. Okay. There's a nice... Uh, that's a good size army. Big army. Okay. 1,500 people. I hate Sir Nook. Whoa. Excuse me? That's a mighty strong word. I mean... What do you mean you hate me? This is This is the place... Must be a uh, must be a peasant. He doesn't understand. There's bears in the forest now. Rumors of fierce bears are spreading. As long as they're only bears. Unhappy a beast was slain. Warning, warning. Um, Bree has been conquered. Purple's getting pretty big. Are there bears over here? No, I don't know where the bears are. There they are. They got him. Now there's wolves over here, too. Ooh, this place is terrible. No one lives here. We might die. Um, really? I only have three peasants here? <clears throat> yeah, we're six people away from, three, from another peasant. Do you have food over here yet? Okay, we got food over here. Excellent. Excellent. We should probably upgrade our farm. Extra peasant can go in here. 
Let's do that just so we don't have um Ooh. keeping some cows and sheep safe on the field, even without peasants to care for them. We can fence it to prevent its wild animal attacks or build a windmill for more efficient grain processing. Yeah. There we go. Well, look at that. I need a lot of that food I'm giving you. I also have a double rationing. And they're at zero. Oh, they hate me. I have a black heart. Okay, don't worry. I know how to make you healthy. Um, conquest. Conquest makes everyone healthy. I, I don't I have I have a lot of iron or a lot of armor, but I don't mind having a lot of iron. I keep saying iron. I don't mind having a lot of armor because it means I can have more more crossbowmen, and crossbowmen are great. Peasant was killed by a wild wolf in Leon. Great. There's one less person now, I know. That means two hundred and fifty people died to that one wolf. So if I take this off the sheep, we lose the sheep. Um Take them off the cows, we lose the cows. So we keep on dying over here. We lost 225 people over here from that. We got enough food. We're going to have to go over here and fight this wolf. Okay. Uh, let's go storming in. Into Ipern? Ipern? Uh, I know, I know. I know. Probably should have waited a more season. I oh, know this is this is fall now. Wild beasts in your country have uh, attracted a f famous hunter who is now at your service. All right, we got some here, so we got a sizable group of folks, but I think there's more of us. Oh, purple guy's taking green. I see that they're taking some of their land. Is it Yipra? Yipra? All right, so, oh, we're starting in boats. Okay. Well, we're going to let the, um, let the mercs lead the fight. Maybe we'll let these guys go next. This is cool. You shot my boat. Got some exciting music now. As we cross. Oh yeah, I understand. Uh, well, we got to get in on. We got on land, I think. Attack him, but I'm in. I'm in. He would be. He would be. That would be bad. Let's just go on. Let's get on land. You can still shoot from boats just fine. Good. We we could kill all those guys. Yeah. There you go. Okay, Mr. 80. Hey, Strateger. How's it going? So we do 5 to 9 damage to him, and he does 20 to 30 to me. I just want to get on land. Uh, I think it's probably the best idea. We'll just, my, I think my peasants do a good job of just like being in melee with range things. A third job, just just to be the annoying guy, just interference. My third job. Spearman won't make it. Um, we can whoop, whoop those guys. Get 
Out of the harbor, maybe? And then these guys are last, right? Are we at the end of combat? Are we at the... Um, at the, the end, right? So we should give them... Why can't I give them the take aim? I don't know. Alright, fine. These guys are nasty. There's a there's 900 crossbowmen crossing the channel. That'll uh, that'll that'll freak some folks out. Uh, let's get these arches out of here. 900 crossbow bolts. Woo. Hey, Markin, how's it going? Here's your job, buddy. Get in there and be annoying. Oh, the dang dummy card. That's the worst. Uh, why can't I do take aim? I want to do it. Let me get rid of these guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, potion craft has. Yeah, you're right. Sort of similar, similar art style. Art style. Good job, peasants. Look, he's even got some armor because he's like a level three peasant now, so he's getting a little fancier. Got more than a pitchfork now. Here we go. Get on the beaches. Just do that. So I'm gonna pikemen are probably good against um, cavalry. I guess. Um, kind of out of range of anything. We could we could do we could kill that guy. We could position ourselves better for next turn and hit these spearmen. Do that. Probably gonna die here. Yeah, same with me. I played this one. I the last time I played this was on release day in 2020. Early access release day. Okay, we lost, uh, it's not too bad. We lost 55 of our mercs, but we don't mind that. Did we gain our mercenaries back? Because we lost some before. We still had 100. Rams, we can't get rams. Okay, the, the wolves are finally gone. Conquered your first region, you make use of the region. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, purple guy is... Oh, I thought purple guy had conquered. But purple guy is marching, though. Tiny, oh, tiny-sized army is what that means. Okay. You know what? Okay. Um. I was going to say, I need more crossbowmen, but let's just get some more archers in. They're the... the um, I don't know, maybe we should just do more crossbowmen. I, I think that... Maybe, like, a second set of crossbowmen would be nice, also. Um, so we can go here and conquer this one, or we can go into Greenland. Let's go to Greenland. That doesn't be auto run, and um, no tithe for right now. And you guys be, and you guys be happy over here. What's over here? What's this flag all about? Oh, the hunters are here. Can keep 
Uh, can hunt animals or keep and or keep them out of the region. Do we have any more animals around? I think we got them all. The wolves were down here tearing us up. Yeah, I don't know. Just just hang out, buddy. Get them bows coming. Um, yeah, yeah, get those coming. Beast slain, rogue hired, uh, conquered, we looted some cash. What was the, uh, remember there was a, there's a, there was a score goal, right? Wasn't that one of them? Score and, and conquer. What, I wonder if there's my, where my graph is. A rebellion started in one of your regions. Uh oh. Happiness in Cornwall has reached maximum. People in Cornwall love this place. Revolt of London. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> London? Why? But London, we were so happy a minute ago. What happened? Oh, I remember what happened. You starved. I remember. I remember. Uh, well, um. This could be bad. Um, planes, or we're gonna go into buildings. I think is probably best. It says planes also. Structure. Let's let's fight in the structures. What are you doing there? Three hundred. Well, that's a cavalry. All right. Uh, we want... What's Warcry do? All enemy adjacent to you, general, gets minus... Oh, enemy is my, next to my general. Okay, we don't want that one. Uh, charge adds 50% damage per tile. Your mono mounted unit passes when attacking. Yeah, give that to him. Okay. Uh, shields up, please. Cannot be on him. Can't be on him, then. And then uh, we'll Warcry next turn. Okay, uh, we're going to Archer. Oh, we're going to hit first. 17 Peasants. we got to hit them before they hit us. Okay. Uh, here he comes. Charging time. I can't reach you, so we're going to hit the Peasants. Charging through, the, through downtown. Main Street, London. <laughs> Whatever Main Street London is. Charging the horses down. Taking out 300 peasants. Filthy peasants. What do we got? What's this one? Take initiative. War cry. Scout. All negative terrain penalties when used on allied cavalry unit. Oh, because it's, a, cause it's a, my different leader guy is, is leading this. Okay. Um, I think I think the cavalry should be able to handle the peasants. I would imagine. All right. Yeah, hurt their morale even more. That'll show them. Bathe in their blood. <laughs> yeah, 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 there you go. We're the good guys. What's that say? Terrain minus? Okay, so let's do this thing then. Okay. Yeah. Let's bathe in their blood. We don't have to bathe in their blood if you don't want to. Um, you know. We can be reasonable. This fight's gonna last forever. But we can't, because we can't kill him. Um, okay, no damage. That's what we need. Ow! Two horses! I'm gonna kill my cavalry. Why can't I hit 
more than... Why am I hitting it for so low damage? Plus three initiative. Played from round two onward. I mean, we're already going next, so what's the matter? Just do a good shot. There you go. That's much better. Man, these peasants are destroying me. Six to nine, six to ten damage. Is it because he's on a hill? Yeah, he's on a hill, which is which is killing my horses. Go burn their flag. That'll make them sad. Okay. Um. You guys find that pretty bad, pretty bad, right? Like you don't, you don't like that. Can I just pass my turn? I don't really want you to move. I want you to just stay right there. I guess it's already been burned. Nothing else you can really do with it. Range defense. This is what? Range defense. He's on... He can... Oh, it means he can counter mount it up there. I see what he's doing. Okay. Doesn't look good for us, my lord. It sure doesn't. Maybe you should think twice before you go and start uh, revolting. Doesn't look good for me either. Maybe we should. You know, I gave you guys like double rations. Your your tables were full. You, you eat as much cake as you want. And you are whining out there. Now we got it. Ooh, don't do that. He got wise ideas. I don't want you doing that. I had it won until he started going after my archers. Like that. Oh, good, good. You running away? Round limit reached. What does that mean? Okay. I'll take it. I like to think that the battle was going on, battle raging in the streets of London. And they're like, ah, the time, you know. <laughs> We've, we've had enough. You know, we gotta get home for supper. <laughs> Alright, London. What's with all this... Oh, triple tithe. I forgot. That's right, I turned that on forever ago and I forgot about it. So, sorry, sorry, London. Uh, you know, you gotta remind me of these things. When you feel like your taxes are too high, you should just speak up. You just say, hey, you know, <laughs> look how much money I have now because I forgot about it. I was, I was taxing them to death. It's only a thousand people in London anymore. Sorry, London. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, whoops. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh, whoops. Alright. Um, let's go. Uh, let's get them. There's a whole big old battle going on here. I want in on this. I feel like I'm a little left out. Busy playing around with our own in our own streets. We should play around in France. That purple guy going? Are they buddies? Yeah, Lord Robert is who we want to kill. Can I see this real quick? No. So they have walls now, right? This is like a walled-in city. It might be a little more tricky. There's a lot of us, though. I kind of think I've got to be getting close to when... This is mine. OK, 
can't people there. I can put people on a hill. And we go to place. That Robin Hood? Yeah, stick to those range guys. It's your job, buddy. Oh, they got cavalry. Oh, that's not good. I got spearmen, though. Oh, they got more. So many horsies. Yeah, we're sending fire arrows in there. That's what we're doing. Isn't that a bad idea for you? Yeah. Out of range. I guess fire arrows it is. I don't really want to come off my hill. Can I not get there? Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and give, give take aim. Well. These crossbowmen are going at the end of the round anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and give them take aim. And then we'll give shields up to... Who's he going to shoot at? Give it to this guy. I wish there was a way of... Maybe there's a way... Oh, okay. Space bar. There we go. Maybe there's like a button somewhere. It seems like a real bad... Oh, he c I can't... Oh, because he already got hit. That's what's going on. Right, so you only retaliate once per round. Ooh, that hurts. Hope my bowman can get into that structure. How do you do it? You have to hit. You have to attack the structure. I think. I guess. Maybe we should keep people away from the uh, away from the tower. That way, they don't those horses don't get us. He can put him in there, and we can just light it up. He wants to stay in there? You go right ahead. We'll warm it up for you. You cannot fire in there. Fire on anybody. Um, well, I think you just best to just shoot this guy. That's probably a big deal, but just pop that on him. Uh, I want you to hop on this hill. If he doesn't want to attack us, at least we can get a good defense against him. Ooh, that's a lot of, a lot of dead archers. Can I get in here, you think? It's the same kind of thing. Shoot it whatever you want. Ideally them.
it's really good for him to attack, right? He's only going to lose two people, but yeah. Because you're the spike, man. you got to be best against him. Played a card on me. I don't like that. I'm gonna get away from these archers. I want to get up here so I can get a shot. I don't like the camera shake. What's the way to turn that off? Archers. I stopped standing next to my crossbowmen. I need two different groups of crossbowmen, I think. I think that would do best. So options. Options. Um, options. Can I turn off the shake? Oh, here we go. Battle speed. Yeah, crank that up. Dead zone. What's that? Like for, um... Oh, I think... Mm, I'm not sure where that's going to come in. Hmm. Oh, much better. I gotta break these walls. So we'll let the uh, archers just handle it. Force must be good against mounted defense. Yeah. Cavalry are nasty. Right, let's finish this guy off. So like I can, he's already taken, he's already retaliated, so he can't fight back, so I could, oh, I'm going to kill him. I probably could have done it last turn, too, couldn't I? I wouldn't, I saw 20, and I was thinking, ah, small, small number, no big deal, but there's 20 cavalry. Okay. There we go. Still got 900 of us left of the, of those fellas. We lost a lot of archers that time. Oh, we can up, so we can get great uh, create churches and upgrade them to get those bishops, whatever bishops do. I kind of want to want to kill the rats while I'm here. Do we want to declare war on the rats? We could kill the green guy immediately. Or we could go all an all out war. Where are they going? They're gonna come over here and try to claim this. We could kill them now. What do they have in their army? Archers, swordsmen. Morale here is terrible, so we can't raise too much of an army with what we've got. But there's a lot of horsies around. Can I, um... Yeah, if these guys get mad and they revolt, who cares? I want horsies. How many can I have? 11? What's it based on? Oh, the armor. Okay. Uh, cancel that. They don't have any horses. So we can either finish green off. I think... They don't have an army. Let's just let's just stomp in the green land. Because purple guys like us, right? Yeah, purple guys are our buddies. So we'll stomp in the green land, we'll kill off green man, and then we'll be good. Somebody wants an alliance. Who's that? Oh, purple wants an alliance. Um, no. I'm going to kill you next time, that's why. And here in, where are we at? Wherever the town is for this place. You guys are automated, and then... What's this one down here? Yeah. Is this the town? I'll automate you also. Oh, you don't need food here. 
You should get some food down here. Who has food? 11,000 food over there. Okay. So send some food to... Yeah, there. A bunch. Hey, it's gold. Thanks again for hanging out. Like, 3,000 food. Send 3,000 food over there. Three, three turns. I'm gonna starve before then. Start eating the horses. We're gonna eat, like, all the horses. Yeah, they're gonna revolt. What about you? Hmm. Hundred. They're a hundred. They're a half ration, and they're a hundred. They love this. This Cornwall is the happiest place on earth. Forget Disneyland. Fire started somewhere in my realm. Bishop retired. Uh, purple has conquered over there. Is there a fire in my realm? Where? I don't see no fires. Ah, fire! Is that a mine? An iron mine? We're not using it? What are we doing? Yeah. I don't need food, we need iron. Okay. Let's go take them out. We got like a castle to take here. This might be our grand finale. If we conquer this, I think we've got the game. Take out green guy. Maybe we'll go fight purple guy and see what we can get. We got some green. We got some and small. We're going to fight both of them. Two armies? I hope so. After that first battle, which we don't talk about, uh, everything went pretty uh, smoothly. <coughs> this is my land here, so we should be using it. Put you in there. It would be nice if you could be on the trees, but that's going to be a front line there. Horses there. Let's put in my... You. You're going to die. Only a few. This will be uh, not too bad. Okay. Bottom of the round is, is you, so I'm going to give you the take aim action. So you can slaughter something. Um, shields up is for the next range attack, which we've got. That guy's already gone? Yeah, there is actually no other range attacks coming in. It's not really worth it. So, Spear Dude, uh, let's go... How much are you going to get hit for? Two to four, but you'll do one to two damage to him. He has already gone, though. I hear the screams of, of dad jokes. And I, don't, I think I'm going to sit you right there. Screams of dad jokes! So, um, I don't know, um, I don't know really how to, how to, how to, 
how to segue into this one, but um, terrible story today. I ran out of toilet paper. I had to use lettuce instead. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Tomorrow remains to be seen. <laughs> oh, the toilet paper jokes. The toilet paper puns. Is there a wall right there? Is he behind a wall? Oh, he is behind a wall. Is that jerk? Um. All right. I don't. I wish you stay right there. Mm. Certainly beat that joke to a pulp. Excellent. Excellent. There was something special with this. <laughs> All right, you just sit in those trees and you just put your shield up, buddy. Uh, what are you going to do besides die? Um, you're going to defend what you're going to do. We, everyone, I want you guys to stand there. Just hold your shields up. Good, good. And then let the crossbowman handle it. Nope, that's bad. You didn't hold your shield up. You uh, let your neck fall off. Okay, archers. We can set something on fire. We could set the horses on fire. We could just kill the horses. Also. I feel like his... his. Oh, we should hit this guy, shouldn't we? That's the leader. I don't know, what do you think? 49. We can do 49 damage to each of these guys. I think we kill the leader. We take out the morale. Five. Five. Five damage? Five. So you can do your cool thing and you can do uh, um, burn them? Yeah, so we could kill their, their commander in one shot. Because this guy's a hero. I need to put an obstacle out. Keep him away from me. And, um... Really got to put a downer on your day when your, your general goes walk, goes marching out and you just get slaughtered in one, one wave of, of crossbow bolts. Really uh, put you in a bad mood. Buddy, you're just there really just to... He seems to be hitting him, so it, just sit there. Defend. Oh, hey, hey, here we go. Plains, plains, swamp. Let's let's work our way over this way. Peasants. I knew peasants are the best. I did we tell you it already? No. I'm in for one, but he's gonna get me real bad. Oh yeah. Maybe I should attack. I, don't, I, I assume there's a bonus for defending, but I don't know. I don't know if or not. Do I put arrow... Do I, um... Let's just hit that guy. Shakey shake. Okay, Lord Robert's strength my army is at half strength. The morale is real bad. Blinky red. Oh, the cowardly arm enemy is fleeing the battlefield. What cowards? How dare they? That means green dead. Battle against the city, but there's a castle in the region. You need to send an army into the castle to finally conquer the region. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, we need to raise an army, I suppose. Um, I can't raise an army here. 
What do you have here? Just a, a small group of folks? Go get them. I'm sure this will be fine. Um, you know, if... Um, no one lives here anymore. But if over here, if they're so happy, maybe they want to raise an army. 29, 2,600 people over here that are super happy. Let's raise a second army. Who wants to lead it? Sir Wolfman, Sir Simfrey, Sir Gilhold. We got so many folks. Ooh, this guy. This guy for sure. We can see. Oh, we can. He has experience as well. Okay. Well, we use the ones that I know. That one's not very good. All I really care about. Obstacles fine. Um, I don't know. Archer one's pretty cool. Next enemy unit shot will pass their next turn. Only inflicts minor amounts of damage. Oh, we can just like waste someone's turn? Oh, that's good stuff. Target a three tile area and do 60% of the rate or damage to every unit on the slots. That could be really good for my big my big guys. Okay, do that. I should do that for the other guy. All right, so we got all kinds of, of gear here. We can get, let's start out with, oh, yeah, I don't want that. We want crossbowmen, because they're the best. We want archers, and I can make 20 swordsmen. No, maybe we won't do archers. We'll just do that for now. Tiny army. But we can peasants. We're throwing 800 peasants. <laughs> they would hate me. Uh, they're fine. They got they got good rations. They'll get over it. Um, yes, eight hundred peasants in that army. Okay, this army is gonna move. Can I move you multiple spaces in around? Can I like say just go down here? No. Okay. Well, go to the dock. Uh, make sure that this town is getting double rations and no tithes for a minute. Okay. Next turn, let's take a castle. If we can. I don't know if this is going to go well. There's not a lot of us. There's a lot of purple folks around. There's a rebellion somewhere. Oh, he's tiny now. This is at the keep, though, right? Oh, yeah, look at that. Really, kind of a battle. You want something that's not just uh, uh, peasants, and rangers. We're gonna swamp. I don't remember what the bonus was with swamp, but I think it's good. Is that it? That's their army. This is what I'm doing. Waste my time. Just to make sure, you know. <laughs> All right. Well, that was uh, that was good. So castle is mine now. Green is now dead. I hope. Right. He still has an army out there. Unhappy people. Rebellion where? Uh, they're they're about to take up arms. Conquered. We got loot. Enemy armies are all over. Um, we're not at war with them, though. You're just talking about... About green guy, right? How do I fight him? Does that, does that fight him? These guys are all over. Some few. They're pretty small, though. Got some, few, and... Where's the other one? Few. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Need to wrap the stream up, but we gotta, we gotta go out in style. We gotta, we gotta have, to have, like, a proper... a, a victory.
How do I kill you? How do I kill you? No, you how'd you do that? Well, Robert conquered that. How'd you do that? How am I supposed to take this place? Fine. What are you doing? Okay, so they're there. So this is the town. This is the castle. We want to fight the army. How do I fight the army? Because that's the town. I went to the castle. They went to the town. I think, so what I, I think that's what I did. I was thinking this is one region. This is two regions. Two towns, and there's a castle in between. We're going to send a 1200 in. We're going to go take this town real quick. We're going to try. Okay, we've got some of them and, uh, and a lot of our... Um, look at all of them. Do we want to fight this one? I want to see what happens with this. We have many, many, many peasants. I'm curious to see how, how strong these peasants are. How many do we have? 900 peasants. We fight um, on the hills and in the trees and... Um, Could be ugly. <laughs> there. I want you to be with the peasants, I think. Give them some a nice morale boost. <laughs> okay. Game over. Twenty six. That's nothing. I want to play. Hey, Core, how's it going? Man, I want to play. I get to go. All right. Um, use below 50 morale will behave strangely. I, 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 you know. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do take aim because he's gonna go last anyway. Is that what's going on with you? You're not gonna play because you're, uh, you're sad. We'll go ahead and put barrage on him as well. Okay, it did skip his turn, didn't it? That's not good. I can't walk in here, can I? Wish I could. Wish I could. That's no good. And we do want to keep our commander around our people as well. Not like distance them like we did. We're not going to win this one. I should have autoed it. You guys finally gonna you gonna go now? Um, let's do the fire arrows, and then just fire at whatever. I don't care what you fire at. There you go.
Ten. Ten. Ow. Three. Ugh. Cavalry are nasty. So few of them. Yeah, I know it's bad. Can we run away? Okay, good. Yeah, that wasn't a, that was that wasn't a good. That wasn't a good fight. All right, so we got a battle over here now. It's a small ones of them versus me to just let it go because we know what's going to happen. Surely we, surely we can win this one. No problem. What's that mean? Okay. We won. We got a million crossbowmen. We can't possibly lose that battle. Where's our army at? There oh, we are. Oh, there's many. There's many of them now here. Hmm. Can I build an army up here? No, because I don't own... I don't own this town, right? The green guy owns the town. So we gotta go and take this from the green guys. Now they don't have an army anymore. Which we should be able to. That's a lot of purple. War with purple! All right. So there's a lot of them. We're going to get whooped. Okay, this is it. This is our grand finale. Well, we can win this, though, because we've got a million crossbowmen. And they're going to get destroyed by by uh, however many of them they have. I don't know what, what the numbers mean. What does many mean? Is it a thousand? I don't know. But they're attacking us. Um, they do have a fort there. Why come I can't use my castle? I have a castle. Why can't I use that? sense. I guess I'll put them in the trees. My lousy amount of peasants, which seem to have gotten a lot dead in that last fight, I didn't control. This is it? This is their whole fight? Their whole army? What's down there? 500 of them there. This isn't... Ow, oh, this is nothing. We got this. Uh, peasants, all I really want you to do is just sort of sit. You guys just sit and... Ideally, don't die. Is there any archers we can get on? We could get up there and get on those archers. We'll die. They're dying quick. I think they're going to be better. You served as... Just like a, a slowdown, a speed bump. They, they get shot at rather than my archers. Hoping for the blockade. Chopped his head off. So I do want to put. I think I want this on. And can you hit him back here? Oh, you can't. Okay, we'll put it on the guy in the trees. I think. We do 54 damage to that guy. I think we're going to hit him. Plus fire. That's a nice little barrier for someone to get on this guy, too. All right, now I think we pretty much kill anything that we that that we can see. Pretty much, I think we hit this one. Hit the hit the one that has was to kill their morale. Anything else we can do here? Yeah, protect against range. There's only five hundred of them. How many would I have? Did I have like eight or nine hundred? I must have lost a ton of them in that auto fight. Okay. That'll put a, a, a bad day. Oh, there it is. Bad day for the uh, the general. Where's he going? Where's he under now? 
Mr. Player, thanks for following. Obstacle. Oh, I can't quite put it in there. If I put it there to keep him from going around, I'm going to put one there. That'll save him. And then you're going to hit... Has he gone yet? Just hit this one. Just kill this one off. So if he wants to come at me, he's got to step in the fire. Oh, there's a wall there. That's right. Where's the general at? I don't see him. You're up next. Lord Henry's gonna get scared. Lord Henry's running away. Okay. Was that both armies in one spot? It was, wasn't it? That's exciting. So we got war with Henry. Bishop spotted, there's all kinds of things, but we don't care. Um, yeah, he now has a small and a tiny army. He's got nothing now. Whatever's down, whatever's down here in Paris. Alright, it's my bedtime though. And so I think I'm going to run off and, uh, and get out of here. So, um, I think uh, I think I've got the win. I wish, I wonder if there's got to be somewhere we can see stats. See how close we are went to winning. Like a win conditions thing. I don't know how to see it though. Yeah, probably should go to bed before the sun comes up, you know. Um I don't know. I don't remember what the other win condition was. We gotta get close though. Stomp these things. I got the win, you know. Blue didn't do anything all game. Um I wish I'd put him on different more difficult uh difficulty. These guys aren't so tough. Yeah. It's all over. Alright, alright. Let's take a look at um what that was. The other the other win condition. Thanks for hanging out uh, in chat tonight. Um, so that was the single player. There's of course there's multiplayer. That was that was a scenario. Uh, I'm not sure what a custom battle is. Is it just battle just on the battlefield? I assume. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So we just play the fighty bits if you want. Um, and then you can make your own maps on this, which is pretty cool. Um, I saw some of them that there was like I said some sort of something going on like a challenge or something. There's pretty neat maps in there. Um, I guess they're bad in, in um, extra, maybe? Yeah, there's there's the editor. Um, oh, there's codes, huh? What do the codes give me? I want codes. Challenge one player high score. What does that mean? Oh, that's my high scores. I'm, no high scores for me. Alright. Anyway, pretty neat. Lots of maps. And of course, plenty more we can grab later on. I want to play with more people too. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll uh, I'll probably be back here. I'm just sure gonna be back here tomorrow night or not. If something pops up, I'll come back. Um, the big day is gonna be on Saturday night. Sunday morning will be the big 12-hour stream. Um, 
and uh, we'll play lots of things then. So thanks again for hanging out.